Just your painting girl Will you a number one When nothing quite will Hit the spot You're awesome echoing And when we chill And play together It's always the most fun My amiga You're more than a friend Not just a girlfriend We're in it to the end Tell you exactly what you mean to me, but I know you'll always be inside my heart. When I turn you off, when I push your buttons, I always feel sorry the next day. I wish I could be with you every hour. So gay, my ego, you're more than a friend, not just a girlfriend, we're in it to the end, I can tell you exactly what you Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. Hope you're all doing well today. I am doing moderately okay. <laughs> hello, West in the chat. Oh, I didn't change the some chat things. You would have disappeared. But look, there is chat. Hello, chat. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, so yeah, uh, today. We'll be looking at Amiga stuff, of course. It's the Wednesday. We usually do looking at Amiga stuff. I just re realized that the lights, the lights that I've got up, you can only see a, a bit of them. I really I need to try and... I can see them over there as well if I move. <laughs> Maybe I try, need to string them up a little bit better. But the light that's in front of this one here, or the light that's above... No, there isn't a light in front of that. It's just the light from above making it glow a bit. That's all. Um... But yeah, so I hope you're having a good day. I might hear a rustling uh, down there. The, 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 the noise cancelling might be uh, cancelling the noise, but uh, you may or may not hear a rustling. If you do, then we'll get onto that in just a little bit. Um, I've got a couple of other things just to say. Um, Friday stream, so obviously looking to do it, but uh, I may or may not get a phone call in the middle of it. Um, I don't know at this point. This morning, on the, the, this afternoon, I thought I was going to get a phone call on Friday because I was told I was going to get a phone call on Friday. But then just this evening, I got another phone call which, which said that I, I, 
I, I need to do stuff by self or whatever so i'm not quite sure who's doing what and whatever but things are in the process basically i'm trying to get my uh med sorted out because the, the, I, I can't get one of them at a particular pharmacy so i'm trying to see what alternatives are available at the moment um and uh and yeah it is proving to be a little frustrating let me say um but um that that's that, that, that's all I really wish to, to say about that uh, here. Fun mystery indeed. So yeah, it may, may be an interruption um, on uh, Friday stream or not. Who knows? Um, and uh, yeah, so um, on Friday stream, I was thinking, obviously I had the list of, 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 of games and stuff, didn't I? Oh gosh, no. I didn't get things set up, did I? I didn't get things set up. No, we're on this. <laughs> Katie, there's always something, isn't there? There's always just one thing or multiple things that you forget to do, isn't it? Here is Amiga Format, uh, the one we're going to be looking at today. However, if I... What am I doing? I want to go to the browser. That's what I want to do. I want to see what's in the browser because... Well, that picture they're giving as the background today, this one. Cool. Because I had the big list of things I wanted to look at, but I might be looking at uh, maybe this one on Friday. It might take a few streams to to get through it. Um, but uh, but yeah, unless anybody has had any opinions on these other ones, let me just go through what I was showing. I'd have to buy this one to start off with. I don't. I, don't, I currently own it. Uh, we still have uh, Alien Isolation, which we can go through. We have the, the Super Metroid very randomizer thing. We have Half Life Two stuffs, which we need to get into and some BBC Micro stuff um, as well but I was thinking that uh, maybe we can go on to, to this one next and and have a look and see what uh, what goes on there oh I didn't I didn't even open up all my um, all my windows here um, open all and I do not need that one at the end there and I do not need this one this is a it's going to be on. It didn't it went backwards instead of forwards? Never mind. <laughs> Back to this. Ah, gosh. But yeah, I may do some some link to the past on Friday. Um, we're, we're going to get into this this <laughs> magazine here in a little bit, which promises us uh, um, not on the on the front cover. They're too excited about this music X thing, which I won't be able to show you too much of because uh, I don't have um, sp specifically. Um, formatted uh, Amiga sample stuff to put into it. But I can show you a bit of it at least um, and get a kind of idea of what it is. Um, but, you know, with, with that um, disappointment out of the way, <laughs> let's just now have a look at some... What I, what I have that's rustling down here. So, I mean, you may or may not know I have various different varieties of Rubik's Cube. This isn't an actual Rubik's Cube. And as you can see, Rubik's Brand... Ooh, I have a subscription from a Chaos. Thank you. You may have noticed that the followers have gone down. <laughs> it happens, doesn't it? Um, so, uh, but uh, it, 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 it really doesn't matter. I mean, if, you're, if you're a big streamer, losing a few followers doesn't really matter. You know, you've got, got a few to lose. You can gain some back and whatever. You are a, a small streamer, losing a few followers. Well, that this does, doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> to be quite honest. But thank you for the um, subscribe there. Apple 2 Forever, of course. Of course, that was uh, Chaos's uh, subscription um, message there. Apple 2 Forever, indeed. <laughs> of course, so which which I... I, I Put in my Discord, but you might remember this retro computer thing here last time. I fixed the page. I didn't clip off the little bits that are kind of sticking out the edge here. You probably can't see that very well. But one of these um, here, if I could find it. I'm just flicking through random pages here. So maybe I will find it, maybe I won't. But um, one of these pages in this, this retro computing colouring book that I, that I have my hands on here. Um, one of the pages has an Apple II on it, and indeed does say Apple II forever at the bottom there. Um, which you can see, uh, I assume that's an Apple II right there. I did have a look at pictures of Apple IIs. They're like different models, apparently, because this button doesn't appear on some of them. I don't know. I will uh, leave that to the Apple fans to 
to talk about and whatever. Um, but um, yeah, you can see the, these yellow stickers are kind of like curling quite a quite a bit on here. Um, and what was it? Especially like this side here. This is this is this is actually the right color here, but it's obviously discolored from there. And yeah, so your Rubik's, bank, Rubik's brand Rubik's cube is not the smoothest or um, greatest kind of one here. But then again, saying that, I do have other <laughs> cube varieties and whatever here. Um, I did take the the, the do it the solo cube thing off my um, list of things to. To, to do for the channel points or whatever because I, I've i fallen out of practice with them but this one, um, let me just I think probably demonstrated this before but you know, if you want to do some like quick turns and stuff on this, you go eh, and almost break your finger uh, gosh, almost break your finger Hello. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited I'm glad you're doing mostly well West. Um, but yeah, you can oh, almost you can hear it crunching around and stuff, but yeah it's um Difficult on the fingers, but I have this one though. It's much nicer and easier to do it. But you might notice a problem. This is the, the stickered variety of this one. I've got the stickerless variety over there, which obviously won't have this problem. But the stickers on on this one, what variety of cube is this? A Volk three uh, by is it oh, Chi? Is it? I guess. Um, I think that's how you you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's Chinese, not Japanese. I can't tell you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there is much easier to do the things. This is hasn't been lubed up um, here, but it's much easier to do this kind of like this is like sort of a full uh, 180 spin if you do that there. So two 180s obviously make a 360. Uh, no scope, no uh, 360. So that's got there. But as you see, I, I got, got the stickerless one because the stickered one was having some troubles with its stickers, and they kind of like can slide off as well. So I think probably if, you, if it when it heats up and stuff like that. So I went through a little phase of being a little bit obsessed with uh, cubes of various varieties and stuff like that. Let me just try the. Uh, oh gosh, uh, 180. How do you even? Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Well. Um, Hang on. <laughs> so, if you look at the the uh, the white side here, it's opposite to, to blue on this one here. So, if we do a flip here, we should see blue on the front. Oh, we can see blue at the front. Then, if we do it again here, ugh, it should go back to the white. No, it didn't quite make it to the white. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a little more stiffer to move. It's you know for what it is. It's okay. It's not designed for like speed cubing and stuff like that. But yeah, and I have got some various other ones as well, like the uh, nice little 4 by 4 here, which you would notice is not solved at the moment. <laughs> I scrambled it up and whatever, and, and didn't get that done. We have the very complicated looking one here. I've got a few other ones scattered around, whatever. But I did find um, a hidden stash of them, which I which I have here. Now, this one is not a cube, but it still does look rather impressive. Uh, you spin these little edge pieces around here, and obviously you can spin that one and then spin that one, and it kind of like messes things up like that. Uh, which is a, a neat thing, but I don't want it to mess it up too much, um, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of like mostly an easy solve until you get to the last few uh, little bits up uh, around one area, which you, you end on or whatever. But uh, yeah, there's got this one. I forgot what they call these, um, but... Uh, Oh yeah, I, I think like the triangle version of this is called like a pyraminx. So they're various different um, varieties of minks, apparently. Possibly the less, the less said there, the better, really. Um, but I also have other ones which are slightly different um, to the, the cube variety. Obviously the cube variety, we have, you know, cube-shaped pieces on a cube. But if we have like, say, mm, Let's go with this one first. This one here, you might think, oh, it kind of looks similar, but you kind of got like, weird edge pieces. But if you look at the top here, if you can look at the top here, if the exposure wants you to look at the top here, there we go. You can see, oh gosh, you could see. Uh, now I've just completely messed up the exposure, haven't I? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> this has a twist that you can do uh, a lot like that. Maybe it's easier to to do it here can you can you can you uh, an adjust here can you can you camera do an adjust can we please do no it's going even brighter oh gosh i've completely blown this out haven't i uh can we like change the camera brightness 
think we okay <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> but yeah you can see there's this twists like this along here and of course along uh oh gosh the other there yeah, axes as well like that uh, this one's a little more crunchy than some of the other ones but obviously it's designed more to be uh, this variety of cube rather than whatever but you can get interesting situations where you can turn it like like this and then make even more turns after that so you can get very wild shapes happening um with uh with this kind of cube here but basically it's very similar to to this one if uh, you could see the cross shape on the top hang on if i just like do a little bit of a twisty twisty to it um, you can kind of see that it's kind of like if you hold these both in like in this orientation you can see that the, the the vertical lines here are the same as the vertical lines here and then the horizontal lines across here will be the same as the horizontal lines across there and so basically it's, 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 it's the same mechanism and whatever but the the the, the difference is that uh it's, it's the, the the pieces are slightly different shapes which can cause issues because if you look at this uh hang on which shows it better this shows it better on the camera here so you see this this pink green kind of uh, edge here this is the same or analogous to the middle piece here so as you can see on this this one here it doesn't matter which way round you get the middle piece it, it it's it's correct and what um uh no matter which way around you get it this way you can get uh different orientations of the middle piece there so you could find out you've you sold a few things but then you have one of these or a few of these twisted around and whatever so you've got to think a little bit more about what you're doing with those um positions on the uh, the cube and these these edge or well, these center center bits here now uh similar to like the edge bits so you you don't have to worry about which way around these ones go here uh in in, in on this cube but you do have to worry about the, the center ones which in some ways makes it easier some ways makes it harder um but yeah it's, it's very interesting so there's there's that one we also have one which is slightly different <laughs> as you would be able to uh see here this one's a little bit twisty it's very much the same on the top here obviously the the, the white is going to blow out and the, the yellow is still going to blow out quite a bit here but you can see that this um is, is still got the, the same kind of thing you can like change these like this way and change these this way and whatever so it's very much the same as this apart from on the side it's uh looks a little bit different and but you can see it's still kind of basically the same thing there uh you can see the the um hashtag rubik's cube <laughs> uh on the side there which is basically you know the same thing this is the same thing you have to worry about the orientation of the center parts there so not so much about the the edges here as well and uh and yeah the uh so i think yeah i think that was basically the the consideration you have to make for this one here but it, it looks really nifty and and interesting that it's all kind of twisted around like this um so then you have things like this which you can't see very well hang on can we get onto one side which you can see yeah this this is very very interesting and uh it's basically the same thing except they've made the cuts in very very odd positions here let me see if i can figure it out here so yeah we got this bit that twists like this and this bit that twists like that you can see they're kind of like if i do um it more gosh yeah this is a very uneven <laughs> kind of uh cube because like on on this one you can like twist one side 90 degrees and you get to like the same shape and then 90 degrees same shape 90 degrees same, same shape 90 degrees same shape this one oh gosh don't want to destroy things here this one uh if i can make sure that it, it will sort it out here if you turn this part here you kind of just kind of have to keep turning it until it gets to 180 degrees before it actually gets back to the same shape because it is rather wild but as we may be able to demonstrate here it's basically basically the same thing you might be able to see the the hashtag pattern in in here if you look at that this is the the center um slice of it here going around and around and around and around and around and around and stuff like that um so yeah this one can get even more kind of confusing if you can see from this side now can you see better on this side 
that the lighting is not helping me here, is it? But yeah, if you twist it around to here, you can then twist these parts here. I mean, it might be difficult for, for you to see, but you might kind of see some of the, like, especially this one, or oh, this one here looks very square shaped. This one here almost looks square shaped. This one almost looks square shaped. So you can see the pattern that's there. And I need to try and get it back roughly into the right shape now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very, very different cuts since you know here they've done the cuts down 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 across across whatever here um what they've done is they put in their cutting machine just slightly the wrong way around so it's done the cuts down 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 across across like that but it's been done when it's like at a different angle and whatever um and then this one they've they've thrown it in all all kinds of wrong instead of like throwing it in like this is me putting it into the cutting machine like this. They said, well, this is how we're going to put it into the cutting machine with these these points like this um, top and bottom. It's not quite like that, is it? It's 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 with that point and that point at the top and the bottom. You can see it's, it's not even tall. They put it into the cutting machine like that. And it's cut down here, 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 and there and there and whatever. And it's just turned up with that shape. Um, so yeah, there's those those are those are those things. But then I've got a couple of other ones uh, left in here. Oh, that's in that box for whatever reason. That one, sh this should be in that box. This is the one for the the, the, the funky uh, uh, many-sided things. It's all in Chinese. I can't read any Chinese. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's all Chinese. <laughs> I cannot read that. We have a fancy cube here, which once again, you can't see very easily because it's getting blown out by the camera, especially since it's a white plastic um, there. Let's see if I can do anything about this. It might look a bit awkward. Thing. Yeah, if I turn this down a bit now, there you go. You can see it. Remind me to turn it back up if I forget. But you can see it a little bit better now. You have kind of like a interesting kind of look to it and this one if you turn this around it does funky things like this you can see and you have to turn it quite a few times for it to get it back so let's let's do it oh no that's not back there that's that's definitely not back there gosh you have to do it quite a few times okay so you see the black at the front and everything's like just usual around here we turn it around so all the way around, black back at the front there. We can see these bits are, are twisted around and such like that. And we've got a yellow in the middle now. We turn it around another 360 degrees at the top here. We get, well, I get the black back, but we got these things which are turned around a little bit. So another 360 degrees. Uh, well, you got yellow in the middle now. <laughs> so another 360, messed up again. Another 360, gosh, it's still messed up. Another 360, ah, there we go, we're back to to normal. So you can imagine how this is it's awkward to, to do. You have to, you know, you can't just turn the middle bit around. It, it won't do that. You have to, you know, just uh, do a good old uh, twisty, 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 oh, gosh, thing on on there like that. And obviously it does that in all, all directions and stuff like that. So it's quite a uh, confusing one, uh, to say the least. Um, but then possibly one of the most confusing ones I don't know why I emphasised it like that. But one of the most confusing ones is this one here, which I've got to get out of its little box. It was uh, made by, if you've ever... You may or may not, if you're not uh, a puzzle fan, you may not have seen uh, Oscar Van Deventer's uh, YouTube channel. Um, he does a lot of uh, uh, different uh, puzzly uh, things and varieties. Every week he comes up with a new kind of like interesting thing to show on his channel and whatever. So he's uh, quite inventive in that way. But he has de um, in the past devised this cube. And you might think, oh, that actually looks fairly normal, this uh, cube here. But what you may not notice, I mean, obviously it, it does this. It's a little more crunchy than the other cubes and kind of gets stuck occasionally and you have to kind of like just give it a little bit of an extra hand to make sure everything's straightened up and such like that and you think oh well, that's not so weird but let me see if we turn it like this and then turn this this is where the weird stuff starts happening <laughs> oh gosh yeah it does it's 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 an interesting one i can tell you that 
<laughs> so if I try and I know it's, it's very very surprising and this is why it gets stuck a lot because there's a lot of moving parts inside and whatever but uh but yeah and you could turn this top part to oh we can't do that because there's no lo lines to to line up there this is kind of what throws me off about this one it's like you have to make sure that that's lined up and that's lined up so basically you're doing like center spins on on these things and then you can just like do you know a spin on that side and then like do a spin on this side so now this one has gone all the way over here this 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 edge part is now in the middle and and all that kind of thing and you thought or you may or may not have thought about the the previous one where you can get you know the orientations of the middle in different orientations it's like well what if you could move the edges to the middle then turn them then move them back it's it's Obviously, you can see I, I've scrambled it up previously, and I've managed to get it back to this position. But there's a little bit of uh, mysticism <laughs> in in how exactly I I managed to do that. I don't think I fully understood. It's just like scramble it up, try a few things. Like oh, I kind of getting getting it, getting getting it. And then you realise you've got like a, an edge and a centre swapped over or something like that. And it's like everything else is solved. I don't know if this, that's an actual proper way to to solve it, but I think. You can get something similar to that location. You've got that edge in the centre swapped over, and you think, "Oh gosh, how do I, how do I do that?" <laughs> and you try something. It's like, "Oh, it's kind of almost done it." And then you try it again. It's almost done it. Uh, I think you can just like single edges just flipped around on this one as well, which is you can't do that on a normal Rubik's cube. Um, but uh, but yeah, so it, it, it's 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 it, 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 it's difficult is what i say uh and the only f way i figured out to actually solve it after that is just scramble it up again <laughs> then try and solve it again it's like okay this time it did solve <laughs> because whatever it is that i did that made it in this weird configuration i undid that weird configuration by scrambling it up again <laughs> so yeah you can see why i'm quite hesitant to uh to scramble it up too far because you can get very wild with this puzzle and it's uh, not not easy to uh to uh to figure out let me pop that back in there so yeah that is um a selection of some of the cubes i have here which i haven't been able to show up on stream before because i didn't know where they were but I've been kind of like arranging, rearranging, tidying things up a little bit, and only a little bit. But um, but it's uh, I think that should be back to usual. But it helped me find some things which I thought, well, I didn't know where they were. They might have been anywhere, really. But uh, yeah, if I'm, if I'm feeling very brave, I'll scramble up that um, Oscar mix up cube on uh, stream and uh oh gosh yeah and you'll you'll see exactly how that goes how long we got half an hour still haven't quite done with the waffling i mean mostly done with the waffling but i just want to since i've mentioned oscar's channel there i might as well bring it up to show you uh, you misspelled oh gosh i misspelled youtube once as youtube with a V, because the V and the B are right next to each other. And it's like, no, this is autocomplete. This is what you want, isn't it? No, I've just um, <laughs> misspelled it as a U-Rube. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Indeed. But no, I want YouTube. That one. And uh, I want to look at now... Oscar, is it like that? Uh, U-Cube. Yeah, that, 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 that is what uh, people who do... Um, uh cubing videos on um uh youtube actually actually call themselves or get called or, or whatever uh but here's uh oscar's uh well this is just a search for oscar at the moment um but this is oscar here uh, and has oh yeah do a little bit of a talk normally sits in his garden and talks about things which is fun um probably because that's got the best lighting or whatever and you can see some of the other ones he's got here one of these gear cubes i think this is a slightly different gear cube here some maze things and a very 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 uh many um you know he thought a four by four by four rubik's cube, rubik's cube was uh a bit advanced you probably think three by three by three is advanced some people um, but yeah, if you think the four by four by four is advanced, and maybe when you think five by five by five by five, you go, ooh, no, this is a maybe like a hundred by hundred by. Oh, thank you very much. 
um chaos there uh but yeah he got various other problems he's been like um trying out very different things about these like pipe things which fit together he's got funky mazes and, and gears which do very uh odd things and 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 stuff like that and it's a very interesting array of different puzzles and and stuff oh thank you very much as well um yeah gear abc things or whatever here um but yeah you can see all these kind of things he's uh that's not the mix-up cube that's a sloppy cube i think that's a yeah it's got some weird angles in it and things like that but if you're ever interested in various um puzzles or mechanical devices or or various other things then um then yeah there there is <laughs> fair enough fair enough if you feel oh gosh look at this one it's a very melty looking one this is called melty d there because there's a melty a b c and d um and and yeah sometimes he gets kind of extreme with some of them sometimes he just tests out various different uh things uh and, and that but it, it's always very interesting to see what he comes up with um on on this channel here um but yeah i mean you can get an idea lots and lots and lots and lots of things every week just putting up like a, a new one of these and whatever and this pancake cube because they've got flat bits and pieces here let's just bring that up here and let's mute him a little bit but yeah look at that <laughs> oh gosh pause no pause go back to that there so <laughs> it's a very interesting uh design of things and yeah you just scramble it up like that and and then and twist things and it's just uh, but um you rube go back it's illegal yeah there's a lot of interesting interesting stuff here but yeah that is all all the waffling that i wish to to do today um and so i uh we, we can get on to looking at the immediate format and what did i say all the waffling is out of the way of course it's not out of the way you know it's not out of the way what do we do <laughs> what do we do wednesday night what we do every wednesday night we uh, waffle a little bit more. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. Ugh. Ah, so I am fairly silly at times, aren't I? Because no, we're not going on to this, are we? Uh, we're going on to the music, and we see that a dupe has been displaced by um, everything changes by take that. Um. So yeah, that's the everything changes but you. Ba 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 ba. Something like that, isn't it? Oh, we still got. We don't talk about Bruno and surface pressure on the charts here. Good, good, good. Um, yeah. So dupe is going down. Uh, I have to make a correction here. Streets of Philadelphia is uh, was for the movie Philadelphia, which is not about um, homelessness, which I thought it was. Um, it 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 is about um a lawyer or something somebody that gets uh hiv um and uh it, it's more of a legal drama and stuff like that you can imagine i didn't watch it when i was um like 14 which i would have been around this time you can imagine i didn't watch it around this time um because you know legal drama and uh, whatever doesn't sound very appealing to a, a young katie um but yeah so all, all i had to go by was like the music video of bruce springsteen looking a bit sad walking around philadelphia and from that i picked up maybe it's about homelessness or whatever but turns out it was about hiv which obviously these kind of things can interlink and whatever but uh but yeah uh oh we've got symbol or uh prince or taff cap or whatever uh with the most beautiful girl in the world coming in on the charts there as well uh paul weller hung up not familiar with that one tony debart the real thing not familiar with that name either little angels 10 miles high <coughs> Betty mclean dedicated to the one i love uh black machine how g I, i'm not sure what that means ice tea got a lot of love uh desray you gotta be oh that's the you gotta be there you gotta be there you gotta be other <laughs> i don't know the words really um but anyway that that's i think that's the that's the song isn't it uh young black teenagers with tap the bottle coasters sorry but i'm gonna have to pass 
uh, Let Loose with 17, Nine Inch Nails, March of the Pigs, Bono and Gavin, sorry, bon, 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 <laughs> Bono and Gavin Friday with In the Name of the Father, uh, Terrorvision, Oblivion, this is one I do know. That's Oblivion. Do I, ba, ba, do I. <laughs> That one. Ba, 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 That one. <laughs> you know that that song, Terrorvision. Yeah, I, I, I listened to that a lot when I was uh, around this age, really. Uh, what else we have new on here? Sabres of Paradise with theme. KWL6 seems to hang on. Melanie Williams all cried out. Neil Young, Philadelphia. Oh, there's another. Oh, I guess that's from the same same album then. Neil Young did a, a song called Philadelphia where Bruce Springsteen did Streets of Philadelphia. And Bruce was a lot uh, more popular with it. Uh, Hole, Miss World, indeed. We'll, uh, yeah, there, 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 there's news coming up, and you probably know the news that's coming up here about this here. But uh, Qtex, Power of Love, uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Do You Love Me, Bonnie Rat, Love Sneaking Up on You. Um, what else we got? Uh, yeah, him. Uh, Honky, Love Thy Neighbor. We have uh, Schwarzkopf with Coming, indeed. Uh, Nush with You Girls. Not familiar with a lot of the ones on the chart here. And then everything changes, still at the top. Most Beautiful Girl in the World, Street to Philadelphia. You've got some, a lot of classics. And then we've got Dupe. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I may be the only person who watches the stream that remembers Dupe, but if you do remember Dupe as well, my condolences, really. Uh, anyway, carrying on. Pet Shop Boys, Liberation, don't know that one from them. Loveland versus Darlene Lewis, let the music lift you up. Uh, what have we got here? Daniel O'Donnell. You like Dupe. Oh. Well, you you didn't get brought up with it being used as basically like a weapon against you. Uh. Anyhow. <laughs> Daniel O'Donnell singing the blues. We have Francis Raphael, Lonely Symphony. We have Kate Bush, The Red Shoes, Taylor Dane, I'll Wait, The Bee Gees, How to Fall in Love, Part 1. I wonder if they released other ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, you can imagine why it might have been irritating if you just got it directed at you. <laughs> Anyhow, Gin Blossoms, we found out about you, Urban Species, Brother. Once we have Frank Sinatra with My Way, obviously not the first introduction on the chart of that song. Quite a, quite a way off, really, but... Um, um, was that because there was... That might have been because it was like a, a version of it was featured in a commercial at that time. Might have been. Because um, there was a Shane McGowan version of uh, My Way, which might have been around this time. Fish, Lady Let It Lie, Proclaimers, What Makes You Cry. Don't know that one, unfortunately. Lena, F I can't even begin to pronounce that name, unfortunately. What It's Like to Be Beautiful, uh, Garth Brooks, Standing Outside the Fire, Kirsten, uh, sorry, Kristen Hirsch, Strings EP, Dolly Parton and James Ingram, The Day I Fall in Love, Call Me Bad, duh, with Choose. We have World Warrior with Street Fighter 2. Oh no. <laughs> this is uh this is another one of those uh kind of uh songs, isn't it? Uh <laughs> video game tie-ins. Um Street Fighter 2. I I'm I'm not familiar with it, but maybe I'll look it up later. <laughs> uh Groove Corporation with Rain, Deep Blue Helicopter Tune, interesting name. Bump House Stomping. Uh, what else do we have? Mother Earth, Jesse, a lot of ones I don't know coming up here. AM City, Pull Up to the Bumper. Um, what have we got? Cassandra Wilson, I Can't Stand the Rain. Rapids, The Raid. Uh, sure is Pure, Out to Lunch. Yeah, a lot of these I don't, uh, don't remember. What do we have? Going 17th to the 23rd. Yeah, we've got, uh, same kind of things. Oh, we've got the real thing. Tony DeBart, apparently, popping up here. We have Erasure with Always. Yeah, that's a very classic classic tune. Um, always I want to be with you, isn't it? And mm, 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 <laughs> way off tune there. And mm, I can't get the mm, I can't get low enough there. Um, I can't remember what the name Robot Unicorn Attack Song is. Is that the one, is it? Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is this, 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 this I I have this album on tape somewhere, 
um, probably amongst all the boxes back there. Because, uh, yeah, I did like this in the, a couple of the other songs that they, they released. It's, uh, as far as I remember, a good album. Um, if you like the, uh, the mm, 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 you'll probably like it. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, so I can't remember. Brad, I think the, the singer was called Brad. I can't get as low as Brad, uh, e even when, <laughs> even in my testosterone days. <laughs> I couldn't get as low as Brad, because Brad is uh, quite a deep-voiced singer. Um, but yeah, obviously I have a lot to say about that. Uh, C.J. Lewis, Sweet of My Sweet, oh, I remember this one as well. Um, it was, I think, uh, kind of like a reworking of uh, Sweets for My Sweet, Sugar for Money. But it was kind of more like, um, I don't know what you'd call it. I would like... You know, without thinking too much about it, go to some like you know drum and bass or jungle or something like that. But I don't think it wasn't quite that. I don't think. Um, but uh, you would have him throwing in his own verses into into it as well. But uh, yeah, that's uh, another one which you know nostalgia uh, says that maybe I should look at myself to to see this um, C J Lewis "Sweet to My Sweet" one because there was at least one other one that I can't remember what he did. Um, but um, but yeah, uh, what else do we have here? Dupes falling down the charts, you know, <laughs> always, always good for me. Crystal Waters, 100% pure love. We have, oh yeah, my, my parents also used to tease me about liking Madonna. I don't know if I ever showed a, an inkling about liking Madonna, but they used to tease me about it. Maybe these are repressed memories. Don't know. Um, but I remember they used to tease me about liking Madonna. Uh, anyhow, I, as I said, I don't remember any particular songs that I, I liked. Um, about Madonna is just like it was a thing apparently uh, Pretenders I'll Stand By You is it? oh that's a different one that's not the Proclaimers that's the Pretenders there we go oh PJ and Duncan not Ant and Deck at the moment but PJ and Duncan with Why Me uh, we have Oasis coming in the charts with Supersonic so yeah this is was that their, on their first album I think Supersonic was on their first album uh, let us beep, 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 beep. Oh, Supersonic which I'm clicking the wrong thing I want to go to Oasis here yeah, those those those, those guys. Um, so yeah, earlier says that's actually the first song of theirs on the charts. Is that uh, there? You go. This is when Oasis starts to come in, and uh, we never, we never, we never, we never got rid of them. What is that? It's a re-release. Half the world away. Oh, 2015. No, that was it. Was on a TV soundtrack, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, I was interested in Oasis probably from around, um, I don't even know what this one is, but yeah, I was interested in them from like around about here, I think, because it's after Wonderwall that I kind of like was interested and kind of like come through here and there's like this new one, new album, it's like, oh, it's a bit weird, <laughs> um, and whatever, and then that's kind of like my interest in Oasis was around about here, really, um, so yeah, that's basically one now. So got the previous album, whatever. So I know some of these ones. I I'm really not. Maybe that was like, I don't know. I don't understand that. Uh, but yeah, gosh, they had they have they had lots of singles from their first uh, album, didn't they? Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Urban Cookie Collective. We heard of them before. High on a happy vibe. Uh, Drizzabone with pressure, a fluke bubble, uh, Paul Young, it will be you, Auteurs with Chinese Bakery, we have Celine Young with Miss Lead, uh, Luciana, get it up for love, oh gosh, didn't think they were allowed to say that, um, and what else we have, BT Express with Express, okay, uh, Jiglo Ants with Mrs. Washington, I think I've heard the name of that band before. Uh, these animal men, but back to the animal men again. Uh, still low on the charts, though. You're not my Babylon. Okay. Um, Q Tex with the power of love. And Blink, it's not my fault. So let's go back to the, the top here. I think this is the last thing for April. Oh, gosh, are we going to go over? Are we going to go over? How many um, days does April have? Hang on. January, February, March, April. April only has 30 days. This is a way to remember it if you don't uh, easily remember these things, which I don't. You go like January, February, March, April, 
January, February. Yeah, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July. No, that's wrong, isn't it? January, February, March, April, May. No. June, July, I'm supposed to fall on those fingers. Um, I, I must have forgotten how to do this. <laughs> May, June. June is supposed to... Or is it July and August? As 30? I'm forgetting. <laughs> Even with my help, I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, well done, Katie. Never mind. Whichever ones have th the, the, the 31 days close to each other, those are the ones that fall on the little fingers. I think it must be J July and August. I, uh, never mind. More important things to worry about in in, in <laughs> these days. No, <laughs> you can't remember the trick to remember things. Like, I know there's a trick to remember the thing, but I can't. Yeah, that's me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and the high ones are thirty-one. The low ones are thirty, except for February, of course, which changes its mind. It's allowed to, of course. Um, but yeah, so this is the last day of April here. Uh, we can check here, actually. Uh, oh, no, we can't. <laughs> Showing up to 31 anyway. I mean, it might be... Oh, gosh. Never mind. Anyway, carrying on. <laughs> Clubhouse, light my fire. Eternal, just a step from heaven. I might remember that. Uh, or Chili Peppers under the bridge, but a re-release here. Uh, Manchester United football squad with Come On You Reds. Skin, the money EP. Uh, we have Barbara Streisand, as if we never said goodbye. OT Quartet with Hold That Sucker Down. Uh, level 42, All Over You. Uh, what is this? Counting Crows, Mr. Jones. That's another kind of classic song uh, there. Um, a jar Wobbles, Invaders of the Heart, Becoming More Like God. Good name. A ride with Birdman. Uh, Soundgarden, The Day I Tried to Live. Uh, don't know if I know that one. Uh, Richard Marx, Silent Scream. Deadly Sins, We Are Going Down. We have Julia Fordham, Different Time, Different Place. Brothers in Rhythm featuring Charvoni with Forever and a Day. Elvis Costello, 13 Steps Lead Down. I know of Elvis Costello a little bit. Joe Longthorn, a young girl. We have Fall, 15 Ways. What else do we have? Ooh, 7669, here I come. Okay. Um, and we also have Buffalo Tom with I'm Allowed. <laughs> Dig with Believe, Salad on a Leash. <laughs> sea Feel with Stare Through. Delta Lady Swamp Fever. Uh, what are we at? Mother's Day Out Locked. A lot of ones I don't know. Calypse Vibe to Joint. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. There is, uh, that's the, the charts, what was on the charts of uh, April, because I didn't point that out, actually, did I? I usually point this out, but uh, we're looking at April of 1994. Um, and so on the charts of in April of 1994, we had all of this. I mean, I suppose you could have told, by the fact I was messing up when April, never mind, you, you knew it was April, okay? <laughs> oh, dear me. Anyhow, 1994. What happened in April of 1994? Well, I already kind of know one thing that happened, and uh, it, it's it's the, one of the reasons why I uh, I got into music, and uh, probably the main reason why I got into music, which kind of like seems a, a little bit weird to say, but uh, yeah, this is the the news here. This is why I got into music, and when I got into music, Kurt Cobain uh, died um, April 5th. Oh, sorry, April 5th, and um, for sound three days later. So yeah, this is this is the inciting incident of me making music, because um, obviously then a lot of Nirvana songs were on uh, MTV when MTV was free in the UK. Um, so yeah, a lot of Nirvana songs were available then, uh, or just constantly on there. And it's like oh, I actually kind of like this, and uh, this is this is the the inciting incident uh, here. Uh, we also got other things here. We have, let's see if there's anything I really, mm, yeah, don't want to mention that. Um, mm, none of this, a lot of this doesn't look good. I won't say none of it because I'm not really fully reading this. Mm, yeah, I'm all, oh gosh. <sighs> well, there, 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 there's maybe a lot that we're not going to be getting into there. Fine. Um, but uh, we also have 
uh, births in we've got March, April here. They didn't separate them out here. Uh, do I know any of these people? No. Uh, I'm not identifying any of them. So let's move on. We have um, events in the United Kingdom. Let's go to April. Ugh, gosh. The Women's Royal Air Force fully merged into the Royal Air Force. I didn't know they were separate. Um, oh, oh, yeah, there's that. Gosh. Um, um, mm, uh -huh. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. Ah, <laughs> uh, gosh. Births here. We've got... Uh, yeah, the two people, and I do not know who they are. And why is an American-born singer in the UK information? I don't know. Anyway, carrying on. Uh, in British television, April, we have uh, Chris Evans opening the Easter Saturday version of Don't Forget Your Toothbrush. It's that time of the year again when we remember Jesus was crucified. And it's that time of the week I remember Spurs probably have been too. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe I do. Maybe I do. That that's uh that is a point. It does does definitely comes up with uh things that uh, are not not so great. So maybe I do need to find a site that lists there's good things that happened, or maybe I can try and pick them out. Very small dog. Yeah, I mean if, if anybody can find that I'd be happy to, to find it. But yeah, this this I am just trying to give some some perspective and stuff like that, but um, I, it's a lot of like, oh no, 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 not that, not that, not that. So uh, if I can find you know nice news that happened around this time, then then maybe, and if anybody else knows where to find that kind of thing, that would be uh, that would be good as well. But let's see what else we've got here. Nothing up there was very interesting looking or important or whatever. Um, oh gosh, there's a Mr. Bean one. Um, what else do we have? <laughs> Let's just skip ahead, shall we? American television, what have we got? April. I have Nickelodeon celebrating its 15th anniversary. Wow. Nickelodeon is older than I am. Um, what else do we have? Anything... Barney the Dinosaur makes his commercial network television debut. There you go. <laughs> However, the song I Love You was not sung in the special due to a lawsuit about the song at the time. Well, there we go. Uh, Simpsons broadcast its 100th episode on Fox. Is it, this is linking to uh, Sweet Seymour Skinner's badass song, apparently. Oh, that, it's just appearing on the screen there. Uh... There we go. What, 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 what one was this? Oh, is, is that the, the one that, that is slightly, um, controversial and that he turns out to be somebody completely different? <laughs> is, is that it? Or I'm trying to skim over this and see. It, it might, it might be, it might not. <sighs> I don't know. But anyway, moving on. Um, what have we got? Video games. Of course, video games. What have we got for April around here? Different episode. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't really remember what I was reading from that one there. April. Anybody want to tell me about April here? April Doom. Uh, yep, Doom. Uh, was that? Uh, a very big selling one is that when actually Doom was it's 1993 apparently um, so I don't know what the why it's charting on the PC in 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 April here uh, but we got Doom 2 coming out here maybe that's a reason why uh Maybe that had been announced so people have been picking it up or something like that. Don't know. Uh, Mega Man 6, NBA Jam. We've got a bit of NBA Jam here in Mortal Kombat. The classics, of course. Uh, what else do we have here? Final Fantasy 6. Uh, that's kind of 
uh, pinpoints and things for some people, I'm sure. Uh, let's see what else we have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> defunct Commodore. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just... The principal. Ah, yes, it was. Yes, I remember the name now. Now that you've said it, I remember it. But yes, that 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 sounds right. Is what I mean. You you know what I mean. Gosh, I'm having a weird brain day apparently today. <laughs> oh, what is Japanese? That's uh, Gameusuto. Oh, Gamest. There we go. Gamestu. Gamestu. Yeah. Uh, that's awards. Apparently that one there. Uh, yeah, don't know. I've seen that one. Um, I'm slowly getting through the Japanese stuff. If you're wondering about that, I'm still, still, still going away at it. But yeah, as it's saying, what is it? Consumer games, software sales. Yeah, console. Hang on. Oh, consumer. Ah, consumer game. So, food. Uh Okay. Um, unless I'm reading that wrong. But anyway, carrying on. So look what 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 was in, happening in science uh, this uh, this year. Nothing nothing of science, nothing in science. Doesn't seem like anything in science. Oh no, he has somebody dying. But never mind. Uh, what else we have? Let's look at philosophy. Anything important happening in philosophy? In no. Uh, anything happening in archaeology? Um, I don't know if Sty's around. I guess she's learning some archaeology at the moment. Um, so well, let's see. We can learn what happened in April. Um, no. I think here, yeah. uh, but anyway, there we go. <laughs> Still in the car. Oh right, so oh well. I hope she's she's doing well. Uh, we have huge now. We're actually getting into the Amiga format thing here now. We have a huge three disc, one hundred ninety-six page humongous mega issue of Amiga format. We have some cover discs. I say I won't be able to show. Some of these things on here, like this music X, I don't have samples available. We can have a little poke around and see what it what it's about. Um, but yeah, it's like a full version of this one, which they apparently they raved about before and said it was like really cool. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> let me just zoom in on this. Let me just let me just leave that there for the moment. New bundles! There's never been a better time to buy an Amiga. <laughs> issue 58. Issue 59. Issue 60. We've talked about it before. Harry Shear, voice of Prince Grimm, called Ashreen Script. He told writers, That's so wrong, you're taking something that audience has built eight years and nine years of investment in, just tossed it in the trash can for no good reason, for a story we've done before with other characters. It's so arbitrary and gratuitous and disrespectful to the audience. Yes, Harry. Harry being right there, I think. Was it Harry who was in Gross Point Blank? It might have been Harry Shearer who was in Gross Point Blank. I remember him being one of the uh, antagonists, I suppose, in, in Gross Point Blank. Is it Harry or one of the other Simpsons uh, people? Anyhow, um, I'm not talking about uh, Dan Aykroyd, isn't it? <laughs> One of the other characters, uh, I think a cop or something like that, if I remember right. Uh, anyhow, it's just a random bit of trivia that I sort of know. <laughs> but I think it was Harry Shearer. Anyhow, uh, but yes, never been a better time to buy an Amiga. Let us uh, zoom out. <coughs> UFO, enemy unknown. A lot of uh, UFOing going on here. I should probably adjust that uh, scar thing, shouldn't I? I mean, at some point, I, I'm sure uh, Starly will be able to get the the scar talk sorted out. But uh, you know, it's it's it, it, it's it's unfortunately something that's slightly out of my hands to um, the, to sort out. So I, I should put like a message here. You know, Starly will talk about scar and um, whatever. I'll figure something out. Hank Azaria, sorry, Hank Azaria. I knew it was one of the Simpsons actors. And obviously, it began with an H. <laughs> so I was almost right. <laughs> ah, gosh. Anchor's area. That was it. Um, I think I knew which one. I think I know which one he was. Anyhow. So, yeah. Oh, cyberspace and dream web. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> 
looking awesome now. If we see probably some better screenshots later on in all this, there's an interesting teddy bear which you're being instructed to put Tetris blocks onto. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out uh, later on. It's called the the naughty ones. <laughs> There we go. We got uh, the thing which I uh, named the stream after here, which is the A World in Motion. Watching movies on CD is just a part of the entertainment revolution. We jump on board the bandwagon. So, yeah, apparently, movies on CD, who would have thought? Um, probably not a lot of people because DVDs are better at that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we can win a real pool table by Team 17. Have they, have they gone back on that whole M NFT thing yet? I haven't looked into it. Ugh, gosh. Anyhow. But yeah, we've got th three cover discs. We're, I don't know how much we're going to be looking at them. There's also the subscribe disc, which I keep forgetting about. What are you doing, Edge? There's also the subscribe disc, which I keep forgetting about, but uh, has got some interesting things on uh, this month. Um, but here we go. So, month in view, you've got a bit of a Star Trek going on, it seems. seems. Busy watching... S Sorry, the rest of the team were too busy to watch Star Trek 6, so I did. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. I don't know. People who know about Star Trek, was that a, as a good one or one of the bad ones? Um, but anyway, so something about Star Trek. Uh, there, what a special reserve. Special reserve are pretty much doing their standard kind of stuff going on what have we got there really pushing alien breed elite 2 yeah they're all the same kind of things they backed off yeah yeah good they should be um everybody should be shouted down about nfts if they're seriously thinking about anything to do with them um but yes we have pro vector what they're calling structured drawing but it's basically vector drawing uh, yeah, here we go. Remember, uh, structured or vector drawings. So basically, this is a, an Amiga thing to do vectory kind of drawings. There's a good bit of art here. Uh, tank PV. Is this something to do like Tank Girl, maybe? Or something like that, then? I'm, I'm only guessing here. Um, but uh, there we go. We get a bit of, we'll get a bit of a look at a... Um, Jealous of the apes you've stacked, indeed. It's, 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 you know, I, I, I just don't have enough apes. <clears throat> so I'm glad I changed my my username away from Test Pilot Monkey now, because <laughs> you know, not that anybody would have necessarily made that connection, but you know, it's just that like the that connection there it would just been too much for me. <laughs> FOMO indeed, um, but yeah, so you can do some vectory stuff with with this program. We'll have a look at a, an Amiga version. Um, I don't know if you use a, a vector program at any point west, but uh, you'll get to see uh, <clears throat> what an old old school one catching all the apes in a net. <laughs> uh, we've got the music X music X thing. We can have a look here because we'll get more of an idea looking here what it actually would look like. You don't have vector work. Come on. So you got but basically loads of sequences. You've seen the trackers before. You get various sequences. You just put the sequences after each other or loop them or whatever and, and that kind of thing. Arrange the sequences to make a song. So basically one sequence would be your like uh, verse and one sequence would be your chorus. And so you'd have like play this sequence, then play this sequence, then play that sequence, then play that sequence, play another little sequence, and then play the chorus again is like a usual kind of song structure. Uh, there. So that's what you've got your sequences playing um down here and you've got like a drum bass uh, clavinet pattern oh, we've got some clavinet going on in there interesting and a sakuhachi not quite sure what that sounds like uh but it's human funk <laughs> they called it nice um but yeah there's a, a bunch of uh stuff here um but uh, that's the 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 main page here which looks you know not quite like a uh what i what i use uh nowadays but uh some of it will this is where you load the samples in which i don't have any samples as i said this is why we're not gonna be able to listen to it uh very very well but you can change the tuning of things and, and whatever you see how big they are and and such like that we also have this which looks a lot more familiar i mean i I've shown some music making software on stream, but this 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 piano roll kind of thing here is is very much like what um, is a, a, a nowadays uh, kind of thing. I type in Reaper here, 
Reaper audio production images. No, wrong, 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 wrong Reaper. Audio. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, so the the general look of it. I think I've shown a little bit of it before. You get like your your mixer. You got your here's your your piano roll down here. Um, but uh, I can probably actually find something a little bit more uh, that looks like what's on the screen. So basically the, the main view you'd have is like this with your timeline. If you don't end up video editing or anything like that, the timeline is very similar. It just like plays audio on different tracks in um, at the specified time that the uh, little, um, whatever you call it, the scrubbing bar, whatever you call it, that goes across the top, goes across and plays, you know, all these things at the time that it goes past them. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, so this is like your main window. You see all your tracks down the one side. Um, and you got your mixer. Normally, you have the mixer just docked at the bottom. This is the way it kind of uh, comes like this. I don't know who that is, uh, but it's normally kind of a bit like this without this side thing here. But uh, yeah, it looks similar to that. Uh, but if I say P, oh, not that, that piano roll. There we go. Uh, this kind of thing. No, I don't want to add it to my saves um, here, but this is um, generally what it would look like. This looks like an older version, um, or maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. You can tell you can tell how much I pay attention. But yeah, this is like uh, you got basically this this note, this this D flat here plays at this point along with these other notes, and then as the the, the timeline goes across here, it plays these other ones like this E C three. Uh, B flat and F sharp down here and it goes on cross and then plays these ones so basically you're playing a bunch of chords here this is all basically a bunch of chords being being played across there and if you want to play single notes you just like this this is basically looks like a scale uh, yeah C major going up up there so that's what your piano roll looks like and you can see it looks very similar to the uh, what we've got here um, and, and so you've got a lot of other complicated looking things around the, the side here, but it's mainly probably because I didn't use this uh, particular software. And the event page, oh, there's something similar to this in uh, in Reaper, but you never look at this kind of thing because it's all a bit uh, confusing. The same, play this note at this time, and then at this time play this note, and then this other time play these notes and stuff like that. It's much easier just to see it graphically like, uh, like this over here. Um, but yes, you say how you do it, you, it says creating a song using samples. It says you will need some samples on disc. So I, I don't have them. Um, they don't provide them either. And uh, so yeah, you can do MIDI and things like this. And what else we'll be looking at as well? You got a thing, game called Total Carnage. This is a very uh, Chaos America uh, kind of uh, picture here. And we also got Dozer um, here, which has got a, a funky little dragon over here which looks neat um and yeah so you can kind of apparently push things around whatever i haven't properly looked at uh, these things so obviously that's what i like to do it's just a it's kind of like a first impressions a friend they are a good friend but yeah we'll have a look at some of the things and there's some other stuff which isn't uh mentioned here um over here oh <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't used this scene with a camera being this big. There we go. Yeah. No. No. Uh, uh, there. Hello. Um. Okay. I did that a little bit wrong whenever I did it. Oh gosh. Can we just like not? There we go. I'm messing this up royally here. But then we want to move that a little bit there, and that over there. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So this is like the the A twelve hundred image I have on on blah, this um, emulator. Let me move it over to here so I can see it a little bit better. Um, and I'll need to load in some things now. This is going to be a little bit more of a complicated operation here, because there's a lot of things which I need to pay attention to do here. So for the Music X one, I need uh, a disc that I've already um, unpacked. 
Uh, where is it? Test one. There we go. Why are you appearing on the list, Zool? <laughs> Zool always appears on the list. Zool just wants the limelight. So I wait for this to load in. Here we go. Music X. Do a bit more loading and then the music X here. Got default performance. Yeah, that'll be obviously the default there. So I'm not going to get much else from there. Load this in. Can't find symbols. Oh. I think what I need to do is reset. I didn't look at all my uh, all my instructions. So I need to load it from the disk rather than from my workbench image on the... Oh, whatever here. And then we load this up. We load this up and then it should load it up. Otherwise, I'll have to look at my instructions that I made for myself, which I'm not reading at the moment because I am living dangerously. <laughs> so dangerous. Um, anyhow back to here so yeah these are your, your sequences down here uh, i don't know how to do a lot of things but basically i should have a metronome we have a metronome bip 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 bip, bip. yeah basically it just this uh metronomey stuff we can go back to the start i don't know i'll begin there we go and then play You can imagine it would be much more fun. Oh gosh, I think I've broken it. Um, let me try playing it now. No, it's still working. That's good. <laughs> we have uh, various different things we can go to here. Um, can I remember how to do what I did learn how to do? No. Do I double click on this? Do I select it? And then edit. I think this is the one. Select and edit. So here you can see this is the... Uh, the thing here this is the metronome you can kind of see this is going bit 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 because the other things are going bit here we can add some notes in oh that's not going to play over there we can add some more notes in if we wanted to and then push play we can add some more in as well gosh it flashes a lot doesn't it really mess up the the metronome uh, can I get some more divisions, set signature? Uh, oh, gosh. Um, that, is, that is doing this. Do I drag this? I probably don't drag it up and down, do I? Uh, yeah, so there's basically uh, a lot that I don't know what to do. And I'm not going to learn it because, you know, I really don't need to know all of this kind of thing. It's just like volume handles as well. Ugh. I think it might be. No, no, no. I'm just adding more and more. Yeah. Just making a mess of it. Um, but oh gosh, how do we exit? Edit buffer just to save it. Discard. So then we get back to. It's a normal thing. <laughs> but yeah, I imagine if you had some other samples, because you can see you can load some samples into into this window, but we've only got the metronome tick here, and we can change the tuning of it, like to make it go down, and go back to the sequencer here, push play. So yeah. I could, if I really wanted to, make some music in this, but it's it's... It would require learning an entirely different software for for, for very little. Um, so that is that. So for the next one here, let's uh, see, test two. Um, yeah, they, they have two versions of this uh, vector program and one of them didn't work. So let's just go back to this over here yeah we have two versions of the vector program one of them just refused startup i tried different, some different configurations and stuff it just did not want to it just did not want to um and so we can have now a look at the demo of the, the pro vector 3 which they haven't fit in the box quite right. We have a tracer program which you know takes blocky things and turns them into vector ones which is kind of interesting but I would need to have 
files to hand to do that and I obviously don't use an Amigos and everyday kind of thing so I don't have files available um sure let's do all this why not please insert that disc nah can't open pv sans oh dear well that's a shame isn't it so here we go we've got some uh hang on. yeah there we go we've got some splines who likes their splines got some spline action going on here some beziers oh gosh getting even more bezier right here okay and we carry on we can like do some more bendy bits and we've got another okay a bendy bit here and a bendy bit here and then we carry on keep doing bendy bits how do i end the line escape oh no that got rid of it <laughs> okay oh gosh we're doing a very bendy line here over here oh gosh that one off the screen it doesn't like that I can curve around a bit here and stay like that up here over there do i push like return enter I click on the, just a different thing no that's gone now we can do like a pen tool thing and it like makes the the vectors out of the pen tool i tried once uh, programming a tool like this but it was not easy thing to to do and then you can like grab the points and move them around as you can in most vector editing software I and mean, anybody who does vector art I said, like, West, you're probably very, oh gosh, aware of this. But this is kind of a little bit awkward. The handle's a little bit hard to to grab on on these. And, yeah, you can, oh, gosh, uh, select that uh, and drag things around more. And I've completely messed up this side of things, haven't I? Oh, gosh. Yeah, but you get the idea um, of what you can do uh, with these kind of things. You can correct, like, squares you probably change the fill color of them as well, but I don't know how that works. I'm clicking on them, right click, other click. Um, oh gosh, I click this, double click on the shape. Do I have to click the edge of the shape? I have to click the edge of the shape. You can change the shape of the shape. And you can draw like circles as well, or ellipses. And, and then the ellipses are actually made up of splines. So they're not really true ellipses, but... Uh, but here we go, let's try and, oh gosh, no, click, I'll click on the edge and then grab, oh no, click on the edge. You can see it's not an easy, there we go, there we go, drag out some bits and pieces. We're going a bit uh, Salvador Dali with this, aren't we? There we go, you've got a melty clock in the middle there, there we go. <laughs> this is my abstract art. I don't know how to change the colours, is there, is there... Fill line. Oh, here we go. You have to go into a, one of the top menus to change the uh, the color. Can I just drag the, the entire shape around? Yeah, you can see it's it's this that drag a shape. No, this is this duplicate uh, or something like that. Do I need to click on the edge and duplicate it? And then does it? Oh, I got another one. And then we can change the the shape of this one as well. Um, is that is that move or shrink or and click the edge, grab a handle? No, it's not changing anything here. Rotate. I don't know how you change and do things here, but yeah, the you know, the the general idea of things. It's it's a vector art program. You can make vector art. You can learn the program as you if you want. But then again, there's there's options for you to do t nowadays and it's, it's it's a lot a lot nicer to to do so so here we go okay uh, hang on okay so for the two things here which i'm not finished with that yet so let me keep that up here i need to eject and then I can load up 58 disk 3 and then reset it so we can get into the games. Please wait while I load everything up. Cool. And we get to click on the thing again. This is the Dose Demo. This is Total Commons. This is unpacked things from different disks. So I have to put another disk in to look at that. So it's a disc fest this uh, this time. 
And so here we go. This is, oh, I'm pushing fast forward on that. There is a demo. Stop that monster. Okay, click on a level to play. Space for current level, enter for stored level. Okay, so easy. So here we go. I am a, I'm a dozer doing what dozers do. No, that's, that's Fraggle Rock, isn't it? Okay, can't push that. Can't push that. Oh, gosh. I... Oh... <laughs> what, Mon got your dozer. Okay. Let's try again. Do I just have to get to the exit here? Do, 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 do. Uh, I think it's locked. I would imagine I would have to push things around, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. They are a, a jaunty little friend, aren't they? Do I push this? There we go. Mm, this seems awkward somewhat. Okay, I have to push it all the way down there. Hello, monster. Squish. <coughs> Apparently, you can't fight back. Fine. Beep, 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 beep. Don't squish the monster for whatever reason. I mean, they are very cute. Okay, you can hold the button down. To, oh gosh, get some speed. <laughs> it does move a little bit slow, I have to say. Okay, you go over there. And then I push this up. Cross up. Okay, that's not what I want to do. Why do I not want to do that? Oh, do I need to get the monster to the exit? Okay. We're caging them, are we? Yay, that's what we're doing. You caged Mon, so that's what we're doing. Stop that monster. It says click on a level. Oh, here we go. We've got some different things at the bottom here. Stop that monster on reflection. The warehouse so near. The greenhouse. So different. Yeah, a few different ones here. So let's see. Stop that monster on reflection. Free them, indeed. Oh, can I escape? Okay, I can't escape. Um, okay, I can go through there. Uh, oh, they can go through there as well. Okay. So, gosh, stop that monster on reflection. There we go. Not a very good level uh, selection thingy. I probably don't want to go up there, do I? It doesn't look like it's doable. Oh, that's stuck in place now. Oh, that's okay. They got there. Clang! I just saw the top. It says clang. So that was stop the monster. The warehouse, Sony. Hang on. Where did on reflection go? Oh, is it? I have to go up there for the on reflection. And here then to the where. This is not a good level selection thing. Okay. I'm guessing these are like holes then. Um, so basically we have to fill up the space. Um, maybe this is not the way to do it, but... Oh, it fell down the hole. Yeah, this is not going to be the way to do it, because I can't now. Hang on. Yay. So, with the warehouse. I don't know where I'm clicking. Um, that seems like it's the better idea. Okay. Oh, you're coming this way, are you? Yeah, better idea. And then, oh, hi. And this needs to go over here and in there. And then they go in the cage. There we go. Reflection of the warehouse so near. Oh, gosh, it's the big level now. Um, okay, and this... I don't know. Can I push that? Oh! Oh, it's one of these. Um, what 
is my goal here exactly? Because certainly that could happen. <laughs> That's what happens when you push escape. Uh, so near. So I don't know what this does either. <laughs> I'm just checking. Display map. There's a map key. There we go. Right down up. Store current position. Uh, for what reason? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, how would this actually work? We need to transfer the monster from thing to thing. So this seems like it would need to connect from like the outside to this one and then to this one and then to this one. So how do we go about arranging for that? Because the only way I can think of doing it would result in problems for me. Is there something I'm missing here? I mean, what is what is this? How do I get to that? Um, do I need to push this thing onto there? Because yeah, pushing this block here, this green thingy over to here, won't help. Because if you push it up, it just goes it gets stuck to the wall. If you push it down, it gets stuck to the wall. So obviously, it seems you would need to push it that way. Push it up, it gets stuck to the wall again, so that's not helpful. So we need to push it down. Push it this way, it gets stuck to the wall and doesn't help us in any way at all. So obviously it has to go this way. And then it just seems to want to go around and around and around like this. Apart from, of course, it could go over there. And then we can get the monster attached to this here. But um, after doing so, I don't know how that is helpful. We wait for it to go past. Push us over down here now, but then, but then what? I'm just following whatever the level seems to be indicating to me. Because this can go up there, and then this can go over there, which ah changes it back to one of these blocks. Okay. I, I possibly understand that people who aren't used to these kind of games <laughs> might not have much of a clue of what I'm doing here, but. Uh, Okay, this will work like this. Come on, monster. You can speed up the monster as well, apparently. S. Oh, gosh. Oh, you have to hold it down. And they'll go over there. And then they connect up to that. And they go bloop, bloop, into there. <laughs> they speed up a lot, don't they? <clears throat> okay. So where are we? The warehouse. It's so near. Didn't it just say the greenhouse? Okay, here's the greenhouse. Oh gosh, a rotatey thingy, and that's not pushable. That's not pushable. Is this pushable? That is pushable. Okay, if you put it onto the rotatey thing, it changes that rotatey thing to rotatable. I'm only just going by what level seems to be indicating to me to do. <laughs> oh, I can't push that down. Ah, I get it. I can only push it in the way that I'm being told I can push it. Mm. Well, <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> so, I have four blocks that I can move. And these four blocks probably have to fill up this gap. One, two, three, four. It looks likely, doesn't it? Um... And I can't push any of these up at the moment, but if I push these down into that, I will be able to. Um, the big problem is, how do I get them to be where I want them to be? Because... Because hmm. this only moves up. <clears throat> can't move it across in any way so this has to move up 
then it has to move across here. I'm guessing we fling these things up into there. And then when we get this across here, that turns around there and that turns around. But then, then what? Because if I've got all the things like one, two, three here, still interconnected up there. And that doesn't move. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, with this. This rotates it this way, but it's. I think it's got to rotate it that way, really, hasn't it? Um. These will just go in a straight line. So I think that goes across there. That goes across here. Then I can push that up when that does go. When this does go across here. I think this is. <clears throat> this is what I'm doing. Or well, this is what I'm being hinted at to do. So I think this is what I want to be doing. So that goes up there. And the next one just kind of does the same thing. That moves across there. And that moves over there. And then the last one is just going to go around the same way. But I do come up with this slight problem. But then it... No, this isn't going to help. No, it's too far away here. Um, cause pushing this further over here is just going to put it here and make it be pushable upwards, isn't it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I have it. I think I... I thought I had it. I don't know if I have it. Because <laughs> we'd need to arrange something like some kind of staircase. Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to try things and see how they go. Um, so that's, gosh. Yeah, so warehouse so near, the greenhouse, size into everything. Oh, gosh. Hi, ah, you're going to come over here, are you? No, you're going around there. Oh, my. Does anybody remember what any of these blocks does? Oh, that changes one of those into one of those. And then I just need to get this one off the wall. But I have a slight issue. Um, no, that's not going to... No, it is going to be a problem, isn't it? Oh, no, but I can push that. Oh, but then I get stuck. So I have to set it up beforehand. And then they can get into there. Okay, I'm guessing this... Yeah, this clicks to go on to the, ne the, the next level. Okay, I think... I have an idea of what they're trying to tell me. So maybe this just goes like this. So we have slightly more freedom. But the problem being... No, I've messed it up. I think I know what I want to do. <laughs> ah. How is this experience for other people? Are you enjoying this? You like the sound effects? They are good. Oh. No, I think I have messed that up because that... Because it's just going to stick to the edge if I try and move it out of the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, what's the, what's the general experience in watching me solve puzzles? Is this entertaining? I could definitely move that out of the way. Problem being, I mean, that is going to scoop up all that and stop that being a problem. But then this becomes a problem because I need to get that into here. I really need it just out of the way. Hmm. And that just turns it into a block up there, doesn't it? It's entertaining. That's good. Because obviously... 
try and puzzle things is a uh, good thing. That's going to do that, which I've already done previously. And I can't get out once I get in. That's the problem that I have. I'm pushing this to the side and lock it onto a side. I can push that one in here, but then that doesn't actually solve the issue, does it? <sighs> once you're in there, you can't do a lot. And this block down here, this is, yeah, that's going to block me in. Because there's no way I can push this now. And this one then turns into a block, which I can't then move. So as I said, I need to set up things before I actually leave this area. And this can't be pushed. Um... And these things convert them into infinite slidey things. And the only way to get them onto here is to push these out. The question is, do I want to push the only horizontal one or the all directions one out first? Because it'll have to be pushed into here. And I can't really do anything more than just push it to the next one and then push it to the next one. So whatever happens... The one I push in here will be stuck there. I've got it. I've got it, I think. I don't got it. I don't have it. No, I don't have it. <laughs> I keep thinking things differently. No, because it's going to still cause the same problem that I have. Um, if only these things didn't exist. <laughs> and I don't know if there's a way. You, know, you can't push both of them at the same time. And still do that. And then once you push the one block in here, you can't really do anything with the other one, especially if it's the one that's locked in place. This one is quite a head scratcher. Because if you push this one through first, hello, Adstraw, I hope you're having a good day. This won't move at all. Um doesn't seem like the uh, the blocks join up join their forces or anything like that so I mean now we've done that there is pretty much nothing we can do in here apart from push this out to there we can push this one along here but that will just trap us and everything else we love in here um, can we, we can't push things over the uh, over the cage unfortunately so we're kind of stuck and ah, unless, mmm, okay, I didn't appreciate that before, but I realise I've done it wrong. <laughs> okay, I didn't fully understand the parameters of the puzzle, but now I think I understand. This wants to go over here, uh, and and I need something to block it with on the way back, like that. So that then, uh, so that then, <laughs> I can come back over here, and then push this one over here. So kind of like the thing below me here, thing just down here looks like a, a square tea cake, a bit grey as well. But uh, but yeah, so that can go there, and then this one. Go over there, and I think I've done it. I mean, I haven't, you know, quite done it yet. But you know, once I do what I need to do up here, the little monster can then go scurry, 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 scurry all the way around there and in the cage. There we go. Uh, so we have size and everything. Replace lid after use. Oh, oh, oh! I don't like the look of this can oh hello what are you doing oh if you hit those you just follow the direction do you let's watch what the monster does here and let's move out the way the monster hits that and then goes ah i will ignore my following the outside of the uh arena activity here so we've got four blocks 
You only really need three to connect it to that wall. Oh yeah, I forgot the monster comes that way, doesn't it? You only need two connected to this one. Now we need three to connect it here. But... And this one is a carry-on in a line thing. If we push that up there, it would block that off. And obviously we've uh, caused ourselves a little bit of a problem there. Um, what did this one do? I don't really have anything that can get to this one, do I? Oh, and I've got ones that just go across and... Interesting. <laughs> well, I feel like I've messed it up. So let's see what we have from the starting position here. We could... could... I don't know how it would help, but let me just see. Sometimes just doing things kind of like might help you f try and figure out what it is that you want to do, and the monster is now going to do that. But that is fine. We can let the monster do that. I don't know. Uh, they're going to be following... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be... Able... Ah, okay, they're coming this way. This is not the way to do it. Um, What happens if the monster touches whatever that thing is? Let us find out. Let's speed up the monster a little bit. Get them around there. They go back. And they're just getting ping-ponged between those two points. If you're thinking, how does this help me? I'm thinking the same thing. But that can... They're going the other way around. Is this helpful to me in any way? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe actually. Um, no, they're not going the other way around, are they? No, they are going the other way around. Okay, so they're now they're going the other way around. <laughs> that rotated the orientation of the dinosaur, <laughs> or dragon, or whatever they are. Can I? I can. That is interesting. Um, but does that actually mean anything for me? Yeah, it is making my head spin somewhat. So I can move the thing along here. And it would be good then if I can just get a block where the, the dozer is. Obviously, the issue being that that's not going to be an easy task. If indeed it is possible. I mean, these ones, they definitely can't move into that space. And this one could, but it would need something to block it up or down, up or down. So, <laughs> in that respect, I think this will work. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to follow that. That's fine. Come here. I shove this across like so. You wander around there. And I... Oh, no, they're going to go in the wrong one, aren't they? They escape that way, don't they? Dang it. <sighs> Place lid after you use dark out there. The freezer one up. This is not a good level select thing or at least i'm not finding it a good thing maybe it's each tower that's a different thing i think it is okay so this one is the one that i was working on um um so this thing rotates them which makes me able to do the pushy across thing but the problem with that is that they go into the wrong place which is a problem because oh gosh hello because no wait wait a minute <laughs> this might be actually just easier than i thought 
I might not have to do any kind of trickery whatsoever. <laughs> it was interesting di detour, diversion, but I don't think I have to do any trickery whatsoever. I think all I need to do is that. Right? Oh, no, of course. Monster. All I need to do is this. Then the monster should just follow the... A monster! <sighs> but I feel like I'm nearly there. Because what I need to do then, if that is not the case, <sighs> is just move this over here. Let them bounce off this thing once. And then they'll be going the other way around. Um, I need to set up the other thing. Um, a little like so. And then I just need them to go down there and hopefully they'll be going the right way around this time that they go in the, the cage rather than the exit. There we go. <laughs> ah. Cagemon, dark out there. I'm guessing that's the next thing. Yeah, so it does go to the next level. I was just misunderstanding this. Oh, gosh. Um, hello, monster. This is a big level. <laughs> You've got flower pots across the top. Lovely. Um... So that rotates. That probably turns into a full thingy. But yeah, doing that blocks, blocks things slightly there. Um. Okay. I can't go through this here. So, I just need the monster to get down there. So... I'm just going to do some things and see what happens. I can push this over to here. I can make the monster go onto the outside. With that, hang on. I could just cheese it, I feel. Because um, the monster is going to come around here, aren't they? At some point. Here they come. They're going to latch onto that. I can push them across. <laughs> and really, I don't think they... Ah, of course, I crushed them there. But you get the idea. That is the way to cheese it. I feel that's not the way they... <laughs> they intended you to do this. Because there's a bunch of other stuff up here. I mean, without being able to do that trick, um, well, let, let let us let us do a bit of cheesing, because I just want to to, to to do it. Speedy, speedy. There's the dino. Here we go. Oh, did it wrong. See, even when I'm trying to cheese it, it doesn't quite work. But. These. I want to do a test. Dinosaur, get out of the way. Yeah, they just disappear. So. Interestingly, I think what you need to do is get them down and across into there in order to be able to create a bridge of some sort. So what I imagine they would want you to do... Well, all you need to do is get one more in there, but then all you need to do is get one more in there. You need to get something that goes down and across. And I don't have one of those available. Apart from I can change one of the ones up here into... A push all the different ways block using that. Um, 
which yeah, doing that just kind of blocks things here and then doing it the other way doesn't help so we need something else I imagine to go in through that way in the first place maybe why we've got some of the blocks down here to disrupt this because if we push this top one down in here it's just going to change the sideways thing and just get stuck as you, as you saw if you push this one across it goes upwards and then we can't really do anything about it so we need to possibly push things through there which I'm imagining is what these are about And then the only way you can get these out is by doing this. But then this doesn't help, because then what do you do with that? So you probably have to go even further down <laughs> to grab some of these other blocks from further down in order to fill up that hole so we can actually do something here. So we need to fill up this hole. So we need something that goes... fills this hole so we can get this across and up into that hole. So what can we get that goes into this one? Can we get that goes into that one? Well, I'm guessing it's going to be, yeah, this bottom one here. So we've got to figure out how to move the bottom one because we've got to move this one out of the way, surely. Or now we've got to get the it past this hole here. So we've got to fill something up with that hole. So I'm guessing then <laughs> we could cheese it. Obviously, I've demonstrated not a lot of skill to be able to do that, but just unraveling the puzzle that lays before us, we just need to loosen up some things here. We can get this through here, but then, but then, actually, but then, but then what? If we do get this up here, it's not greatly helping, is it? Because we can't actually push it across in any... in any way. And these two blocks might just be there to get in the way. So, unless there's something I'm missing here, but I don't see what could be done. Because, yeah, ideally, to push this one down get rid of this so you could push this across to pick up that and then just push it all the way out. Um, I don't know what these other button things do. Does anybody remember what those other button things do? Unless... Oh gosh, it's probably going even further than I thought. You need to push this one up <laughs> and out. And up. Come on, Dino, out of the way. This needs to go through here. Of course, I realise it can't do that quite at the moment. So this needs to get out of the way. This may or may not be too far. I'm not quite sure what these other ones do here. So what does this one do? That didn't seem to do anything. And now I've messed it up somewhat. <laughs> Ah, so what we did, what we did, yeah, we have to do it again, don't we? Because uh, we're never going to get this full green block up there if we don't. Yeah, you're coming this way. And 
and yeah, this just has to get out of the way, I think. For us to be able to push the green, or the all green one up. I feel that's what needs to happen. Maybe this just goes in through here, and oh, that turns into a full pushy one. Which we could have avoided. <laughs> oh no, I just realised. Ah. Though I do think I know something of how to do this now. It's kind of a neat little game. As I was saying like previously, yeah. As I was saying previously, I mean, you know, you know if you've watched my early videos on YouTube about my exploits with games similar to this, Mast them up here. Did it say space is turbo mode? Oh, you can go a little bit faster, but yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I like having a little bit of control. <laughs> oh, push. Especially when it comes to this kind of thing. You could easily overshoot it if you were in turbo mode there. So... I mean, how how clear is it to people what, what I'm doing now? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Because that'll do that, but we have very cleverly set this up to go back over here, which I assume changes it back into one of those ones, which is good, because then we can push that's out, no, yes, no, I still need to do something, don't I? I messed it up, but I can re I can bring this back around. It's okay. I forgot I was bringing that up there for probably some other reason other than that, and yeah, this is actually going to help somewhat with this situation. So you can rotate that one around, it does nothing. So now, should be able to just push this one to make this one into a full block. And then we need to push them down. Maybe, maybe we'll go into turbo mode for this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It kicks me out of turbo mode. Maybe it's just, okay, never mind. And if I mess this up now... <laughs> And then we just get turbo mode. Oh no, dinosaur is turbo too. Hey Starly, how are you doing? I'm pushing blocks around to cage a monster. Yeah, so this should just be it. We just wait. The trap is laid. Ta -da! Now we go into the freezer. Oh. Mm. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of holes around the cage now. And... I have to make some kind of path to it. We have four of the push each way blocks, which will help us make a, a 
pathway to the cage. However, we need to get them into the right spot. So really the challenge lies with getting these ones out of the bottom part here. So let's go down here, because we can easily like push you know, this one over that way, and then up, and then just across here to and then you know move this other one over here all the way over like this way and then push it over to like where the dough is now push it up push it across and then we push two more in here in order to um do this this is a fairness of some kind but yeah we need to just push those blocks across there so we would need to just get two up here which if we can push them to this top row we can do this slightly worries me but if we push the things up, you're good, that's good to hear. There we can... We can't do much with that. Uh, maybe I'll have to explain that in a bit, but... Uh, Repton, yeah, as I was saying, if, if people watched my earlier YouTube shenanigans, they would have possibly seen something similar to this. Um, But... In order to get those two out, which is, you know... Okay, we just need to push this one into the hole, it'll disappear. We can push these two green ones out and it'll it'll do what we want it to do. Um, and then we need to push this up to here. And I don't see why we would want to move this one up here yet. You've never once watched me on YouTube, indeed. So we just need to get through to that part and then we're, we're, we're plain sailing. Problem being, I feel... But, oh yeah, we don't know how to squash the monster. Doing this makes a wall, which I cannot get through, but that seems fine. That is not quite as fine, though, unfortunately. And in the same way, that is not fine as well, because now we have completely... Um, ...given ourselves a problem here, haven't we? So what you're trying to tell me here, I think I see what it's trying to tell me here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, have you figured it out, friends and animals? Oh, that does that, does it? Okay, but I think I can still do this here. We need to get a block. Oh, we don't need to do it that way either, do we? No. We need to get a block. <laughs> All the way down here. We need to be able to push it down here. That's why we couldn't have done the other way. Up there. That goes out over there now. This comes down. We wait for the monster to pass by. I didn't realise this game was going to take me quite this uh, length of time to... Oh, I've done it wrong, haven't I? Yeah, I've done it wrong. <laughs> ah, gosh. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I didn't realise this game was going to take me quite long. I don't know how, how much of the magazine we're going to get through. We might have to, like, rush a little bit, because we've still got some cover discs to look at. I might have to like speed up some other things. Or I might just maybe. Gosh, do I want to wait on this level? <sighs> so I would like to finish off this this demo of this game, but uh, I see a problem. I have to move two of them. Okay. <laughs> so that's that game. I'd like to play the rest of them, but I realise I've been playing this quite a bit. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put in this one, reset. This, this next game, I think, requires a lot less brain to play. <laughs> you can probably see. This is very polar opposite, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Joystick. We're good. Play the game. Load the game.
Oh, it's like one of these. Can you hear me over this 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 bang bang bang? Gosh, is that a spread shot? Cool. Oh, uh, that's a mine. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Pew. Okay, that went out. So, what happens here is uh, you obviously face different directions. If you hold the fire button, you shoot off in one direction, and as long as you're holding the fire button down, hello, you, um, oh gosh, hi. As long as you're holding the fi fire button down, you keep shooting in the same direction. Oh, it was that it, was it? Hi. Thank you, thank you. You need saving, do you? Okay. I think I did it. No, I didn't do it then. Okay. Watch out for flashing, everybody. Ow! Did not predict that that would happen. I probably should have. So yeah, it seems like we're looting and shooting here. Gosh. Just fire my blue balls at them. They always said it would kill, didn't they? Um, but yeah, that's total carnage. Um, so let us then reset. And now we have other things. Let me just double check what I want to do here. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thinking. Katie thinks. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Oh gosh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, Katie's brain. What happened to Katie's brain? Katie lost her brain in the trash. Um, what are we doing? Put the disc in. Okay, so I think I know what I'm doing with this one. I need to actually load the disc in. So let me find that. So this is the subscriber disc for this issue, which you only would have gotten if you were, surprisingly, a subscriber. This is the Patreon bonus content of Amiga format. Uh, so here we go. So we've got a bunch of things here. A lot of these aren't very interesting. It's got one called Trash Icon, which I know is it's chaos all over, isn't it? But it, it's just... In, in this instance, it's just an icon for a trash can. It's not very not very interesting here. But what we can do is find this super dark. Does anybody remember a thing called... Something like that, wasn't it? Um, something like super dark. One, one that had the flying toasters in? What was that one called? An after dark. Yeah, that was it. After dark. So they called it super dark. <laughs> um, and so to find super dark, what we do is we look into here and we double click this, press hotkey for options, but if we double click it again, I think it comes up. Yeah, here we go. So basically screensavers is what this is. Um, so we can have a look at some, some screensavers. Uh, what we do is put the mouse in the bottom corner and it loads up the screensaver. This is uh, one of the screensavers. I thought people might enjoy some, some very old school screensavers. That, that, that is an Amiga. That is definitely an Amiga. <laughs> So there we go, that's one screensaver there. We have Anim. Let's pop the thing down the bottom here. Okay, program failed. Yeah, don't don't worry about it then. A-Rex, what is that? Did I just crash the thing? No, A, let's go back to 3D. Is this gonna work? Oh, 3D still works. A Swarm. There we go. I'm not quite sure if this is supposed to be what it looks like, but it, it is indeed what it looks like. 
it might be unraveling something and we'll see it eventually but i feel like it might be wrong effects what does this do Ooh, this is funky <coughs> if you leave it does it do anything else apart from change colors oh we do get some other effects coming in yeah here we go give it another cycle see what it does then it's pretty much just circles then i think we understand yeah more circles <laughs> but very very pretty firework no fireworks um where's the kaboom there's promise an earth shattering kaboom there are a few little pops aren't there that's some fireworks, very nice. Flying toasters, so you can imagine what those are going to be. Yep, just the, the flying toasters. And possibly some copyright issues, but... Uh, but flying toasters all the same. Fractal, I'm guessing this is going to be. Um, okay. Let's put some point on the screen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does do some fractals. There we go. Let's give it another one and see if it can do... See what else it can do. Okay. <laughs> that is what it's doing. There's the fractals. Lines. Is this the... Some bouncy lines? Ooh. It's doing something weird to the desktop. <laughs> it's get rid getting rid of it in lines. Let's do the other lines. Yeah, funky. So there's some lines, some melt. I'm guessing I know what this does. Yeah, ooh, ooh, oh my. Oh, that's a, ooh. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? Something's wrong with my Amiga, everybody. Everybody, something's wrong with my Amiga. What's, what's, what's wrong? Does anybody know what's gone wrong with my Amiga? <laughs> funky, indeed. Uh, let's see what else that was melt uh, mystify pretty good lines uh, music does it play music oh it does It looks like that fourth one doesn't have anything to do. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, dark directory blank as pop key remove parameters. Do I get to change? Ooh, select a module. Uh, select. Oh gosh. If I go, uh, which one is it? Is it going to be in games, Hydra Zone, Draw? Uh, which one was it? Mod Hydra Zone, this one. Click OK. Let's try and run it. No. <laughs> Something went wrong with that. It should be able to. If you do test. No. It, it, it doesn't want to doesn't want to do that never mind um so that was that plasma ooh funky you have your bisexual plasma there's a lava lamp for bi people <laughs> very good plasma cycle It looks kind of pearl and noisy, maybe a bit fractal. Let's speed it up. It's not really helping to do the speed up thing. This is using a lot of the Amiga's processing to 
do this. But there we go. Oh, then it changes colors and stuff. I'll take that off the screen just in case that causes anybody any problems. Let's have a look at the parameters here. Oh, you only get tempo. Here we can ugh, change the... Oh, we have to click in this box and you can't drag the thing. Uh, test. Ooh. Can't hold it down, I don't think. No, we don't have any repeat on it. Oh, gosh, do I really have to... No. There we go. We got it. Test. Okay, well, fine. Um, <laughs> plasma so a shuffle. Neat. <laughs> it's not quite a 15 puzzle. It's a much more than a 15 puzzle. Slideshow. I'm guessing if it had pictures in, in a directory, it would show a slideshow there. Spot. Ooh, little spotlights bouncing around, which kind of would work slightly as a um, screensaver, but I don't know how well. Star. Starfield, of course. Classic uh, computer visualization um, thing to do. Text. Nah, nah, nah. What do we want to change it to say? <laughs> Come on to the end. Star driving in the snow, indeed. We want it to be... And we can speed it up a little bit as well. Fonts, let's just not work on that. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, I was promised trans rights. I shouldn't have believed it, should I? Ah. Uh, why? Why did you get rid of it? Boo. Okay, what if I do it now? Is it going to go... No, it, it, it doesn't want to change anything. Fine. Maybe that's the problem we were having before about it not playing a different uh, thing. It just didn't want to save it. Time. I'm guessing it's going to be a clock of some variety. Dear me, okay, but we're not getting any time showing up here. And random, which I'm guessing is just going to pick a random one and show it. Oh, now we get the time. <laughs> oh, gosh. Another random one, please. It's the time. Another random one, please. Oh, funky fractal patterns. Cool. Another, another random one, please. It's back to that one. Okay, so there you can see it's basically a screensaver thing um, that uh, you can you can use. Uh, but there was one other thing that was on this uh, RAM disk here. Uh, which one was it? Spleen hack. <laughs> it doesn't sound very appealing. But if we load up the RAM disk now, oh, spleen hack is hiding. If we load up spleen hack. Uh, I think it's just this one. It draws fractal ferns on the screen. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they've got drawn in the windows. <laughs> you can move the windows around a bit, kind of draw over them and stuff like that. And, uh, you can make a huge big mess of this. This is why I didn't do this one first. <laughs> You can make a huge big mess of this. Um, but yeah, we're quite a way into this now. And I feel like we need to get back to the magazine. Uh, we might have to, like, try speeding through a little bit. Um, as much as I can. Because you do know I do like to waffle some much. We hopefully can get back to that dozer one. Um, maybe we've got some time at the end. But let's have a look. Uh, 8200 bundle, 8200 bundle beta, the best yet. Gosh, didn't expect to see a, a tongue twister. Name of the game, so Smash TV down there. Commodore to go one step better than desktop dynamite. With their summer bundle. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, summer. Gonna be a bit, mm, yeah. Summer, huh? Um, 
let's have a look down here. See CD32's bundle of joy. <laughs> CD32 is about to be rebundled. Out goes Diggers, Wing Commander, and Oscar. Um, Microcosm, Chaos Engine. And that's it, is it? Get Micro. Cosmo and Chaos Engine. Driving Commodore insane. Oh dear. Commodore Maidenhead headquarters have been plagued with calls and letters <clears throat> asking why the A1200 with a hard drive fitted does not include a hard drive manual. Commodore does not supply A1200 with hard drives, and UK hard drives are fitted by third parties. So, there we go. Demand your rights. I, I tried the trans rights thing, but the screensaver didn't like it. Don't tell us. Tell David Pleasance. <laughs> Commodore has stated their inability to produce an FMV cup compatible A1200 CD drive. Don't tell us. Tell Commodore. <laughs> to the address. I want an A1200 CD. David Pleasance, Commodore Business Machines, UK. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Commodore play their ace. Well, they've got to get the ace in quick. Hopefully, they they got a they got to get an ace going on here. If you would agree that Amiga is the most capable platform for multimedia applications, obviously at the time it may have been, but uh, okay. Here we go. Intent on cracking this market and exploiting a considerable opportunity for profit <laughs> and a chance for fairly established Amiga as a serious computer, Commodore have set up ACE, the Amiga Centers of Excellence. The scheme is intended to work in a similar way to Apple's Apple Center network of dealerships. So yeah, the, the 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 genius stores and whatever. We nearly had Commodore versions of that. If only they they lasted a little bit longer. Oh, look, here's North Wales. Got accommodation, places to visit, towns, eating out, events. A lot of interesting things there. Amiga makes waves in the movie world. What's this regular Amiga format? It may have featured John in the film he was involved with. The movies was to be a cyberpunk story. Okay. <laughs> cyberpunk net stories feature a visual allegory of the global information superhighway as a net of bright shapes in a black void. These kind of special effects are the kind of thing the Amiga can do before breakfast. <laughs> uh, John was planning to use Imagine 2 or whatever. John discovered the joys of John's company showreels what so they're using lightwave now to do whatever this is ah anyway moving on it is uh art west out of 10 how would you rate this art especially for like commercial purposes to to grab your eye and to, uh... <laughs> it certainly grabs your eye. 11 out of 10. Cool. This is a baseball cap here. <laughs> it is a baseball cap. They have a free Epson baseball cap and t-shirt. Wow. <laughs> uh, says the girl with the Huel uh, t-shirt and the uh, Scan Computers baseball hat. But she doesn't wear... But uh, maybe someday. Okay. Driving ambitions. It was hard drives for this here. FMV. Welcome to the future. <laughs> FMV. Oh. FMV. Welcome to the future. <laughs> ah. Nobody tell them. Ah. Uh, gosh. Fast forward to the future of home entertainment with Star Trek VI, one of the films already available on FMV. Gosh, it must look horrible. Um, so CD32 can do some FMV stuff, can it? Okie dokie, switch on to FMV. So yeah, it didn't come included with it, you've got to buy an add-on. 
this thing and shove it in the back of your uh, CD32. If you wonder what this port at the back of your CD32 is for, it's where the FMV unit slots in. So yeah, there we are. We go introducing MPEG. <laughs> Nobody knows about MPEG anymore, do they? <laughs> what is MPEG? The 25 megabytes of video data required every second. Okay, it's nearly impossible. The Motion Picture Experts Group got together and figured it out. Squeezing VHS or better quality video and sound into the necessary 172k limit of bandwidth, I think that was that they were saying. So, uh, yeah, basically this is some idea of how this works. It's uh, using a psychoacoustic model of the ear. It's possible to cut away sounds that humans will not detect, such as very high or low frequencies or sounds that are hidden underneath the louder sounds. So basically um, what MP3 does, surprisingly, MP3 was something to do with MPEG, you know, uh, the MP being, you know, <laughs> from that. I, I think, I mean, this is from my understanding, let's say. We might might be able to prove me wrong on that, but I feel that that is right. And this is the video compression thing. I've seen something about this YCC four one one kind of thing. Uh, there's, the, yeah, I, I don't really understand completely about video compression, but I've seen this before, or this kind of format of things before. I mean, even like the higher um, end, um, yeah, monitor or TVs and stuff like that nowadays have to use or can use some kind of compression to, to make it easier to go over certain uh, cables and stuff like that. But anyway, the movie experience. This is the Naked Gun here. This is Bon Jovi. I thought it was um, uh, Michael J. Fox. It looks a bit Michael J. Foxish, doesn't he? There. Anyhow, uh, Top Gun bunch of other ones here in a shop near you now oh look Akira here what is this full motion video that's another FMV thing so we've got Akira appearing on there as well I'm knowing my what I know about Japanese now it's probably Akira that it would actually be pronounced as but you know uh screenplay it's got these like wonderful you know look at all this great video quality and whatever we got here and then they later on a few pages later they get this <laughs> the big chunky pixels i mean obviously i'm a fan of big chunky pixels let me just uh state that i am indeed a big fan of big oh big chunky pixels definitely a fan of big chunky pixels me but uh, I'm not quite sure this is it's an aesthetic they like to go for in, like, professional magazines and such like that. But anyway. Um, cyberspace and Dreamweb. Look how cybery spacey this is. <laughs> Until the early 80s, the future was seen as a utopian universe filled with high-tech cities, gleaming spires, and untold wealth and technology. Even Nightmare Visions of the Future portrayed the world in the same way. Uh, I, I can't either confirm or deny. Cyberpunk changed all that. Through the science fiction novels of William Gibson, among others, the future had been portrayed as a teeming, densely overpopulated nightmare where life is cheap and only the wealthy and powerful have control over their destinies. So you mean 2022? <laughs> Help us, everybody. Um. Anyhow, carry on. <laughs> oh, this is apparently 20, 2090, but, you know... Uh, New Boston, a city dominated by a collapsing government, repressive mega corporations. Gosh, that would never happen. Drug abuse and random violence. Mm -hmm. This is this is getting too real, really, isn't it? Let's have a look at this hairstyle. That is one heck of a hairstyle. Anyhow, any hey, any hey, anyway. Ah, moving on. Uh, anything look any good here? We have a stars in the chat, or not in the chat, but around at least. Here is some kind of car. 
strategy sim detroit okay so it's not a car or an automobile sim which enabled you to create your own car empire oh there you go so i'm guessing it's not a real car there we go frontier uh censored ah gosh the games industry has finally bowed to government and media pressure and introduced a system of self-regulation. But what does it mean for the average games player? Rob Mead investigates. I still think we should adopt... Uh, you are here, yes, cool. Did you like the car? I still think we should adopt a games player. And this is a scary, scary TV. Um, and it looks like a West Friend. I, I may have said that before. <laughs> Especially with the, the hollow eyes. Oh, gosh. Okay, computer games are evil. They say a lot of things which are not not great here. That's the story according to tabloid editors. I need a games player. So, the European Software Publishers Association, or ELSPA, has struck back with a system of self-regulation, which is being introduced to steal the tabloid's thunder and allay the fears of parents and politicians. It doesn't work well. <laughs> Generic 70s muscle car. Yeah, all, all that uh, fear and fervour has gone into, you know, raging about trans people existing and all that kind of thing. Anyhow, what's this? Both in Daily Mail and The Sun printed a story, Nintendo killed my son, about, yeah, somebody had a fit. Okay, that's, let's move on here then. But here we have Zoos, I do believe it is Zoos, that looks horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely horrifying. <gasps> ah, but uh, moving on. All the industry say sensible software. I hope it means we can do whatever the f we want. We can put proper things in games. There are lots of adults playing games now. <laughs> so you're going to be able to put adult stuff in there. I think it's a brilliant idea. In theory, it will work. It's whether the industry is prepared to abide by it. Mm. I really applaud what Elspa has done. There will be situations where profit will be affected by this. Of course, this person is, is motivated by profits right here. And look at this, this board of people. Indeed. <laughs> just go back to this stars are saying <laughs> zoos here looks like a p a sex doll and a teenage mutant ninja turtle all had a baby indeed i don't know who this is next to them i, I can't identify this uh character zool it's not zool come on even the <sighs> it is yeah but come on Zool and a friend helped launch the Alpha Games rating scheme. Unless, you know, Zool transitioned, then, you know, good for her. But I think that's supposed to be Zeus. Ah, never mind. Carrying on somewhat, games people play. Spring into sport. What even is this? The zone, or future zone, which looks kind of like future zone. But anyway... Yep, <laughs> number one specialist in computer and video games. This is a very visually confusing advert and is also bad because it features cricket. Uh, oh gosh, what the heck are they doing with this? <laughs> this text is just impossible to read. Oh look, it's G-Man. G-Man needs some sleep. But yeah, 87 for that. Chuck Rock CD32. Yeah, it's basically just like re-releasing Amiga games on, on this new platform and not really doing a lot to justify it, I think. Like 46 for 10 for Summer Olympics. Olympics. Because they can't call it Olympics with a CS because the Olympic Committee are very, very on that. Um, what else do we have? Mega Motion. It looks like a game that I might like. But, uh, interesting little teaser. <sighs> I 
It'll occupy you while you're waiting for Ren and Stimpy to come on. Indeed. Anyhow, carrying on. Win a full-sized pool table. Look at all these people being impressed by this full-sized pool table. They are so impressed. This person looks so very impressed. I'm not quite sure what, the, what this expression is. Maybe drunk? <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. Oh, look, yeah, Team 17. But thankfully they gave up on the... Oh, were bullied into giving up on the uh, NFTs. For now, of course. <sighs> Anyhow. So, UK 8-ball pool features a red... <coughs> sorry, features red and yellow balls. What does US 8-ball pool features? Stars and stripes. It would be appropriate, wouldn't it? But spots and stripes or squares and stripes. This is the spots and stripes. We talked about this last time in, in some way. What ball do you not want to pot at any time in the game pool? Well, at any time it's going to be the white ball, but most times it's the black ball. Uh, and at any time it's the red ball, if you're playing uh, with, the, with, the, with the yellow ones. How many balls are there on a pool game at the start of a game of eight ball? Well, let me see. So obviously you've got eight balls that uh, you have to get in by hitting the white into them. But the thing is that you've got like two lots of seven, isn't it? Because you've got from one to seven, and then you share the eight one, and then you obviously share the cue ball as well. So that'd be 16, which I think is right. It's got an, an answer. Um, or it's available as an answer. <laughs> You must have a room in your house or at your local youth club or whoever you may care to give the pool to, which is which is bigger enough. I mean, they're not reading things correctly or they're not writing things correctly. But anyway. Moving down. CD32. They had a CD32 magazine. Try and centre this a little bit. Go. Okay. What are the games? What games are there? Okay, so there's something about f f football. If you know football, this might be might be interesting to you. Uh, Legend of Sorosil. It looks a bit like... Oh, Legacy of Sorosil. It looks a bit like Legend. <laughs> but a little bit rougher around the edges, as far as I can tell. We have Grimbeard. Grimbeard. It looks a bit dwarfish, I think. Um... <sighs> Remember when your mates call each other Derek the Destroyer or Elvis the Elven Eliminator? Weird times. What is this going on over here? There's a time back in the mid-1980s when you could go around your mate's house to invite them down to the pub, only to find them dressed up in Viking gear and throwing oddly shaped lumps of plastic at each other. Worse, when you finally got them out for a pint, they spent the evening calling each other Derek the Destroyer and Elvis the Elven... Uh, yeah. I said that before. This cause, the cause of this strange phenomenon was Dungeons and Dragons, a series of role-playing board game adventures which spawned countless imitators on the Amiga, including Hero's Quest, uh, Legacy of Sorosil's predecessor. So there you go. Let's see if there's anything else interesting. Yeah. Uh. But uh, there you go. Yeah, obviously D and D has gone well out of fashion now, hasn't it? Nobody plays that at all. Um, so let's see. Yeah, Manchester United don't care. Oh, some some more football stuff going on there. Don't care. Beneath the steel sky, we saw a bit of that. Nope, not once. No, no D's or D's around here. Um, especially not. Uh. Especially not like right here with the uh, the, 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 the book of of, of of stuff. Certainly not. Certainly not. As Tom Hanks showed us, it could lead to, to bad things. Anyhow. Perihelion, that's something to do with space flight, isn't it? I think it might not be. Oh, perihelion, actually, that's the sun thing, isn't it? Perihelion. Only because I've seen this more recently than maybe other people have seen it. It's come up before in, in the last few months 
um, because of obviously the YouTube channels and things I watch. <laughs> but I think the perihelion is what they call sun dogs, isn't it? Uh, if you don't know, let's have a look and see if we can find out. Uh, let's search the web. Perihelion. It's the uh, point. Oh, no, it's not the sun dogs, is it? Something else is the... the, the I, I was right the first time. I don't think I explained what it was, but it's the part that was the furthest, and which is the closest to the sun. I'm getting everything wrong. Never mind. What What is the sun dogs one then? Let's have a look at this. Up. Sun dogs. Which is the sun dogs. Sun dog moksong parhelion. You can see why I got them mixed up, can't you? Sun dogs are apparently parhelions. This is what, what they look like. If you're ever wondering what a, a sun dog was, if you ever heard anybody mention it, it's when you've got the sun here and you've also got like bright spots here. And this is not a camera trick. This is actually just what it would look like, I think. Uh, very, yeah. There's an atmospheric optical from the sort of bright spot on uh, one or both sides of the sun. Uh, very close, yeah. Parhelion, what was it? Perihelion, wasn't it? The perihelion was, yeah, the the furthest place, was it the closest? It's closest. What's the other one? Apsis and apoapsis, yeah. You've got the apsis and apoapsis, but also it's the perihelion and something else, isn't it? Apohelion or aphelion? Yeah, I don't think I've ever said that word out loud. <laughs> aphelion, something like that. Anyhow, moving on. So that's what it is. The closest point to the sun is what this is referencing here. It looks very warm. I have to have to say that though. Uh, oh, what's this, Dennis? Just Dennis. Oh, this is the American Dennis, not the um, not the British Dennis. Yeah. There's uh, Mr. Wilson. Attacking or chasing Dennis there. Twenty five percent not doing so well. For I felt the worst bits of the appalling soundtrack and teeth clenchingly bad sound effects. And the C D thirty two version is l is little better. <sighs> Since the movie was a flop, the game is likely to go the same way. There we go. We, we've sent her things. Ah, gosh. No, no, we've... Uh, anyway, naughty ones. It don't look so naughty to me. Obviously, <laughs> trying to, to look a little Rainbow Islands-ish, but more cool. And yeah, there we go. That's the same picture that we saw earlier. Naughty and nice tips. Simultaneous two-player option. That's never been done before. 86% uh, apparently it was fairly good. Simple but effective. Not too cutesy. Not, not too cutesy. Not, not cutesy in any kind of way. I mean, they didn't say not cutesy in any kind of way, but uh, never mind. This is interesting. Is that gimme dat nuts? Is that what they're saying? <laughs> Don't let them stop you. This is power play ballistic action. You want aliens? Alien schmalians will roast those creeps. Indeed. That is a interesting design, though, isn't it? <laughs> That's Mr. Nuts. You better watch out for Mr. Nuts. Mr. Nuts has a pocket somehow in, in their fur, which they keep their sunglasses on, which are way too small. Just just look, imagine them wearing... Ah... Oh. Oh dear, on your Amiga 600, just the Amiga 600, huh? Interesting. Okay, Amiga Power was doing a big Manchester United thing and had the benefactor. They've been using for CSI one-liners. I'm missing something. Um, 
Oh, the, yeah, Shades, sorry. Got it. Uh, Benefactor and Jet Strike. Is this the one I crashed a lot in? Probably. Uh, let's see. Prize lines. Wow, you can phone up a number and you could win a Sega Mega Drive, a mountain bike, the top 50 CDs. Easy to enter with no nasty tiebreakers, or you can win an Amstrad PC. <laughs> See how they kind of like win a PC or win an PC, but then you've got Amstrad just shoved in to the side here. What an Amstrad PC. Are we still at the, the Wrestle Masters going on here? Wrestling Masters. Person with the pumpkin for the head. Still around. Um. What else do we have? Zool re-releases. <laughs> Once again, Zool re-release. It's still got it uh, 95%. Seven excited and varied and colourful worlds, including a shooter map level. Super fast, super smooth, whatever the folks say, looks just look a bit like an ant. <laughs> Shoot, kick, punch, collect, skid, everything you would expect to do in a platform game, and then some more. Indeed. One of the best of the genre. Oh, we've got 10 out of 10. Hang on. Hang on. Wait. Award winners gold compilation. Did they give him 10 out of 10 to... I guess they're giving 10 out of 10 to the compilation. And, yeah. I, I probably would have been mostly happy with this. I mean, Sensible Soccer is an okay kind of game. It's like the only kind of soccer game that I might actually want to play. Um, snooker. Of course, I'd, I'd want to play Snooker. Um... Zool, oh gosh. I would have been excited about it at the time. It's like, cool, Zool is the cool game, and played it in like, like mm. <laughs> Anyhow, but an Elite, yeah, as I said, my problems with Elite and Frontier I've, I, I've mentioned in the past. Look, another world. Uh, they are here. That This is probably where I got picked things up from here. Because they're saying, bad luck, this... This is, to all intents and purpose, odd phrase, the prequel to the Rav Mars flashback. So yes, it's probably where I would have picked up and maybe some other bits and pieces where I would have thought that, oh, like, it's another world and the sequel is flashback because they say prequel here, but it's not at all, as we learned. Got a police quest. Uh, Legend Suit Larry. Jaguar XJ220. Seen a lot of these things, um in the past. Did we see Premiere on a on a code disc at all? I'm not quite sure. We might have done. Um but yeah, I haven't seen Jurassic Park, I don't think. Oh gosh. <laughs> Build muscles fast. <laughs> no thank you. I'm quite quite okay being as is. Game Busters. Try a tricky Terminator test of your timing. Okay, so the Terminator thing. <gasps> Frontier, Elite 2, Player's Guide, Ships and Equipment. How do you not die? Dear, we've got some more Zool down here. Here are some cheats and level codes of Gremlin's funky platformer. Ah, <gasps> if you type in kick ass, you get unlimited smart bombs. Oh my. Tough guy. <laughs> Cremola. I'm not sure I'm fond of. <laughs> That, uh, there was a level code, Sesame Ronson, Funky Tut, Hysteria, Seven Slurp, and Plunger. Weird. Oh, look, it's Donk. Donk. I was going to say Dong there. It's not Dong, of course, it's Donk. Um, yep, trying to... Oh, CD32. we got CD32 versions of Donk. It does look a little more uh, fancy, doesn't it? I can't remember Donk looking that uh, fancy before. So it looks like they've uh, given uh, given it a, a, a makeover and such. Some reviews on here. What is this? Networking. Gosh, look at this networking card. I mean, <laughs> I was making fun, but look at this networking card. <laughs> what, what, what port or whatever we got on the end here? <laughs> What is this? Where's the Ethernet? Where's the phone cable? What even is this? It's called a Land Rover, lol. Uh, is it just basically 
a shielded wire going between two computers. Uh, it is quite astounding, really. Uh, look, look, you can connect two computers together. We, we did actually do a little bit of something like that, but I don't think we used anything like this. Um, but anyway, Harwood Directory. Gordon Harwood again. Got a lot of got a lot of balls in this one. A lot of uh, funky balls. There's a star ball over here. Uh, Amiga ball, Commodore ball. What even is this one? Don't even know. Look, there's trolls on a monitor. Let's see. Make a CD32 with great software. Ah, oh, this is the old pack. Stop press. Indeed. Gordon Howard, 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 Howard. Uh, what have we got here? Art Department Professional. Cool. Look, it's uh, not quite a Tracy, but you can put all these things together to make an image. Compositing. There you go. And operators. So you've got a warp thing, oil paint. I can't see what it's doing. <laughs> I, think, I think the resolution here is just like, just not, not helping here. You can make it look spherical if you want. You can uh, print it out on dot matrix or make it look like it is. You can do some kind of mosaic thing. Oh, it's kind of like a twisty mosaic thing that's kind of like a antique gives an image a sepia daguerreotype look uh, this is like more of a pinchy kind of thing going on here i don't think you've picked the right uh screenshot for that uh anyhow personal paint <gasps> da -da -da. have you seen this boy anyhow else do we have unrepeatable light rave oh look it's a star bug it's a slightly it looks like a star bug made out of balloons and slightly sad looking as well <laughs> but anyway let's move on <gasps> future music what have we got A Yamaha TG300 looks like some kind of sound bank or effects thing. Um, what's it become a master remixer? A440, show you how. Thomas Dolby in LA. News from Nam, which, oh, it's, it's a music convention thing. Um, ultimate sound card? <gasps> Find out. Five minutes of the latest samples. So yeah, obviously on these first CDs, they weren't data CDs. They actually just like played the samples as, as tracks on the, the CDs. New and old synths demoed. Well, I'd love to li listen and look through all these kind of things as well. I don't know if there's a an easy repository for these though. Um, I think it maybe this is a magazine that's kind of still going on, so... They might have something to say about that. Uh, ABC printer, dot matrix printer, CD-ROM from Toshiba. Uh, yeah, Music X. I, I think this is an Amiga format kind of thing. It's not just an advert. I can't tell. Oh, gosh, this is so difficult to read. You have the disc on the front of this magazine, and now for the full 500-page manual, simply fill in the coupon below. Yeah, below. yeah, they're still doing the same thing here. It's like, please, give us give us some money. Fourteen ninety nine to be exact. And, uh, and then we'll give you a manual for this thing, which you've got for free. See, it's completely free. You just don't have the manual for it. But if you pay for it, you do. Which I did with Amos, or my parents did with Amos, so, you know. Anyhow, Vista Pro Lite. Uh, confusing namings. But anyway, what's been lost? To claw back 2.5 megabytes of memory, some things have to be removed from this new version of Vista Pro. So what is not in the Lite software? For a start, there's no support for any AREC scripts. This isn't really a major loss. 
the loss of effects result in images and most of the lack of 24 bit support. So there you go. Shot of the Grand Canyon. Wow. Actually part of a 50 frame fly through. Nice. Oh, apparently this is Mars. So there we go. We got a 16 bit sampler. Cool. I got some VU meters on it as well. Nice. What else do we have? Dinosaurs! Why, yes, I will. Why did it say spare ribs over here? Missing link. Tracker, I can't see what these others say. That says T-Rex. Dinosaurs menu. T-Rex, tracker, raptor. I think that's wrapped down there. Spare ribs, missing link, and lost island. <laughs> Extinct on Earth, irrelevant to the national curriculum, and ever fascinating to the imaginations of children. Of course. Before Pokemon, dinosaurs, of course. Um, and still dinosaurs. But, uh, you know. Pro Vector 3, look at all this fancy vector art you could do. I just realised that's a person. It's a very artistic person. Very, very much exaggerated curves going on with this person. Interesting. This is a SCSI controller. Wow. Dinos forever, indeed. Public domain. I've got some good animals and things here as well. All you know about multimedia and your Amiga is wrong. Read Amiga Shopper and find out what your Amiga can really do. Oh, gosh. And this, where the Amiga is going. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to burst your bubble here slightly. Try it. You'll like it. And, oh, just give it a go for God's sake. What have you got to lose? What's the price? Oh, gosh. Getting a bit, uh, a bit, uh, uh, fighty. Uh, pyramid. The pyramid. Interesting. Bernard the spaceman has been captured by an evil mummy. Okay. Oh gosh, what is going on here? The vault inducing back and forth motion of sick balls playing area. Yeah, plus we've got some kind of like morphing thing going on. You can turn this person, Josie Lawrence apparently. You can turn Josie Lawrence into a, uh, a stretch version. Uh, maybe an anime version, I don't know. Um, what else we have? Calculus Combat. <laughs> Calculus Combat. You have to get the right answer to sums. It's not the calculus I was thinking of, but it it, 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 it tracks anyway. Anyhow. What is this? Bon Appetit. Food is always an interesting subject, and new ideas for recipes are always welcome. You could go out and buy a new cookery book, or you could use Bon Appetit to give you inspiration. It's a simple database program specifically designed for holding recipes, and the disk comes with complete with a database of 21 serving suggestions. Well, there you go. This is your, uh, your, your recipes back in, back in the day. Obviously, you could buy a recipe book, or you could go the newfangled way of getting them on a disc from a PD library if you really wanted to. So we got feed your brain demo zone. Um. Um. There is certainly a thing going on there. Subliminal. Okay. You want seven C's. Interesting. Uh, let's carry on. So you got the subscriber disc thing. It doesn't tell you what's on the subscriber disc though in, in the magazine anymore. They have like this backstage thing, which I think there are some versions of this available online. I haven't really looked up them to see, but they'll tell you what uh, is on the uh the disc here which we can't see very well in in high quality um to be able to read it unfortunately complete amiga c everything you need to see everything you need to start programming in c oh dear excuse me 
Music X2, because obviously you've got Music X on the, the cover, but now this is Music X2, which looks like this. Um, let's, let's see what else we have. Workbench. Optimized rubbish. <laughs> the information was all deleted. Oh, no. Um... Me. Oh gosh. Okay, just a lot of, a lot of questions and things like that. FMV and CDI. My word. Little box of the FMV unit. Plug into the back of a CD32 and you watch all the CDI disc movies. I don't know if that's the same CDI as 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 as, as, as the Philips one. But anyway, backup tool and depth information on samplers. Okay, introduction to workbenches. All not gonna be very. <laughs> ah, it's like no, that's not interesting. That's not interesting. That's not interesting. What is this? <laughs> Let me have a drink first, and I will read this out. Maybe I need this information. Oh, <clears throat> how to make it with girls. <laughs> Introducing the most powerful system ever. Oh, gosh. It's already bad, isn't it? Being successful with girls. Are you fed up with seeing pretty women walking by and not knowing what to say to them? I know. <laughs> Do you wish you could walk up to any woman you choose and set a date? Well, now you can. How to Make It With Girls is a fantastic new course that will show you everything you need to know to turn from a shy, ordinary guy into a highly successful trans woman. No, hang on. It doesn't say that. And I, I debate the highly successful as well at the moment, especially. But anyway, highly successful ladies, man. <laughs> Guaranteed. No, includes such topics such as opening lines that work like a dream. Hey. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? I don't know how that would uh, work quite so well, but maybe it will. Um, a simple rule that will immediately double your number of dates. <laughs> become girl, yes. <laughs> how to instantly become more sexy. <laughs> Be confident and at ease in any situation. <laughs> I haven't learned the being blunt thing yet, but... Uh, oh, gosh. Ah, how to get girls to pick you up. <laughs> Just hang around more muscly girls than you. I'm sure one of them will pick you up. Ah, uh, how plain men can easily get dates with gorgeous girls. Uh, as we've said before, <laughs> figure out your trans and... There we go. <laughs> Hench girls, yeah. <laughs> Do you mean like as in like, um... <laughs> Like sidekick as in hench, hench girls, or do you mean like just like hench, as in just hang around buff girls? Um, so how to make girls fancy you without even trying? I mean, same, same, same things. How to maintain an amazing and enviable sex life? Oh, gosh. Wow. I, I'm not familiar with with the person, but... Uh, wow. This is this is thing. And much, much more. Gosh, do you need much more than, than all of this? <clears throat> Everything contained in this course has been proven in real-life situations and works like magic. Just listen to what some of our previous customers have to say. Copies available on request. I can't believe how simple but effective your course really is. The information in here is dynamite. Girls just love me, and I can't do a thing wrong. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I'm now going out with a girl I've always fancied, but before now I never dared to ask. Thank you so much. This is basically just open up into, and it just says, just freaking ask. <laughs> I mean, obviously, as I said, I, I, I suffer with these kind of things as, as well, but... Uh, 
It seems to be the, the way to go here, doesn't it? Before learning your techniques, I had tried everything on the market to make me more successful with women, but nothing seemed to work. Now things couldn't be better. I see a different girl every night of the week. Oh, my. Oh, my. Special offer. Only twelve ninety five post free. Okay. Yes, I want to make it with girls. Please rush me the complete How to Make It With Girls course, which includes a dynamic hour-long audio tape plus easy-to-follow guidebook. I include a, include a postal order or check for twelve ninety five to Modern Publications, Department G. Gosh, in Coventry. Orders dispatched within seven days under plain cover. <laughs> yeah, consent is sacred. But also... Just ask. But yes. And if they say no, see, see point one. <laughs> ah. Anyhow. <laughs> After that, call Spong now. Yep. The Amiga format bulletin boards. Well, there you go. Look at these, uh... Early internet stuff. Hi, Eddie. In a message dated 28th of January 94, Eddie Moore wrote to Paul Gibson, Try GP Facts. It's commercial, though. Sad face. But it comes free with super, doesn't it? Mine did, anyway. Smiley face. Pa, it didn't come free with mine. Um, whatever that face is. It didn't come at all with mine. E even more sad, whatever that face is. It was in the modem box. I didn't know it was there at all until I opened it up. Is it any goo? <laughs> yep, works just fine. Although since getting the laser printer, I can't print faxes for some reason. <laughs> Origin Super, this is working perfect. No carrier. I think this is a joke. What an amazing, absolutely amazing coincidence. Not. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, internet has not changed too much. Gosh, what is this face? Hello, Chaos. Smiley face, indeed. What is this face? <gasps> it's an interesting face. Just colons now. Lol. The logic shop. Oh my gosh, the, the arm is coming all the way around here and typing on whatever this is. <laughs> oh gosh. Get to grips with imagine moulding. You could you can make things which look like uh, what are the creatures that look a bit like this? Uh, typing colons does this. It makes colons. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something there, of course. Um, you can't. You have a special thing you can see. Wow. Um, what are these things that look a bit like this? If this was attached to this, there's kind of like, there's a, a sea creature which looks very similar and I can't think of what the name would be of it. Anyhow, moving on. You can make twisty things. It gives you an emote. Interesting, it doesn't give me an emote at all. You must be very special. <laughs> So now we've figured out how to make it with girls. <laughs> so you want to be big this summer? This could be you in six months. It really couldn't. It really couldn't. I can tell you that now. It really couldn't. <laughs> no tablets, no powders. <laughs> you really want this other one. You want to be girl this summer? <laughs> and just have... <laughs> maybe tablets, maybe other things. <laughs> ah, gosh. Massive muscles in eight weeks, guaranteed. Wait, wait, six months, eight... Uh, yeah. Brr. No flashy equipment, just a serious approach to bodybuilding that works. They've kind of, like, misplaced one of their dots. Pick up all the girls, indeed. Uh, introducing the most comprehensive muscle-building program in history. Have you ever wondered why some people find it easy to gain muscle, what they'll str struggle endlessly in the gym for hours to... On end, no available. You see, it's not the hours you put in. It's what you put in the hours that count. As if you've gained in eight years. Ask me how, indeed. Ah, it only took me four years to 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 look at the way I am now. Not quite uh, six months, but, you know, 
Ich weiß nicht, ob das so ein, so ein HRT oder das. Anyway. Don't waste your money on expensive supplements that simply don't work. Well, it, 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 it's completely opposite of the HRT, but anyway. Or gimmicky courses that promise everything and deliver nothing. It's fantastic. I never thought I would look so good so quick. PJ in Liverpool. I've been using this course for five weeks and the visible difference is staggering. It makes every other system I've tried seem pathetic. And dear MP, I'm guessing this is whatever this is. I don't know. Dear MP, being skinny was the hardest thing for me. You certainly put a stop to that. Who's MP? What, what's MP? MP? Hmm. Modern publications. Okay. That's what that's what it was. Yes, I want to be big by summer. There we go. Thank you very much. Please rush me your supreme muscle program so I can start to reshape my body. <laughs> oh, if I knew anything about graphic uh, altering stuff to make it look any good, I, I would definitely like do a, a trans version of this, but... Same people who help you pick up girls. Indeed, they are. So you can be big and pick up girls as well. Ah, gosh, anyway. Gains from as little as three pounds. Okay, what is what is chaos showing us here? Let's have a look and see. Something about me. Oh, right. I see. Uh, let me go over to Edge and show. This is... It's an interesting emote. I, I don't know quite if there's another way to do it. Uh, it possibly is. Is it one of these kind of like... No. Like that emote. Look, oh gosh, there's, there's, there's somebody looking at some kind of magazines and... <laughs> Looking kind of, kind of shocked. Anyhow, letters, Amiga, your maths, blob, blab, <laughs> FMV, VFM, best idea, what are people saying over here? I am Julie Shopping Trolley and I am a secret agent from your biggest rival, Amiga 5, Matt. Okay, blob, blab. Dear Mr. Bloke or Mrs. Bloke, blibby, blob, blabby, blibby, blabby, blibby, blob and blabby, blobby, blib, blab, blobbish. From Mr. Blobby. <laughs> so here you go. We've got the best idea to improve the sales of games and decrease the amount of copied ones. Why don't people like Bullfrog, Ocean, Team 17 put more things like posters, stickers, badges and objects that represent the game inside the box, along with the discs and instructions which make people want to buy the game rather than just have the copy? Which, you know, they kind of do have these big um, statues and things in, in, in games and, and stuff at times, don't you? Uh... It's a good idea, and one which several companies have already adopted. Cause Abysmal Blaster came with a fabulous poster, and Zool too had a lolly, some Do Not Disturb signs, and more in the box. Signotis even used to include a t-shirt with their games. But is that what people really want? Write and tell us. There we go, got a telephone box here, which is a pretty good render. And, and some kind of car as well. Missed the point. Us... Oh, it's a stereogram. Hang on, let me see if I can... Yes, an auto-stereogram. Let me see. It is difficult to see. Hang on. Hang on. Gosh, that is difficult to see. Or oh, do I have to cross my eyes for this one? No, it's definitely not a cross-eyed one. It's very difficult to make out. No, I've gone, gone the wrong way. Hi. Yeah. I'm having the trouble seeing what exactly this is. <laughs> They've done it in a bit of an awkward way. Let 
they've really done it in an awkward way and i don't think the scan is helping at all it's just a blobby mess over that side it's the amiga format logo apparently i'm getting far too much here let's try and smallen it down a bit no i keep losing it it's not easy uh do i have it gosh i saw something for the moment there that i have no idea what this actually what i'm actually seeing <laughs> It may be the Amiga Format logo, but it's a blurry mess. Can I make it big? I can. I, I tried to see if I could see it a little bit easier when it was small. I'm, I'm just completely losing it when it's bigger. I can't make it out very much. And plus, it's, it's probably like just the scan of it looks awful as well. I tried to make a program which made these. I kind of didn't quite get it right. Are you having any luck there on your side of things? Because it's just the amount of three dimensionality to it is just completely throwing me off. I'm getting it the wrong way around it sometimes as well. Ah, it's not helping. No, uh, I've got it the wrong way around again. <laughs> ah, no, I can't see it. I'm going to go off it now, if that's okay with you. Can't see it at all, no. I, I can make out some shapes and things like that, but there's just, like, not working. Anyway, here's the Battle Orc. Pretty good. Pretty good picture here. This is The Man by Hans Bloom of Bowden, Sweden. This is... <laughs> It, it's it's certainly some art. Uh, pool demon, indeed. Last we have vampire house. This is a pretty neat one. So there we go. Uh, give him a slap. Uh, what an idiot! The writer of this up here article obviously needs a good slapping. Is that? I'm not sure I prefer you to buy them an Amiga or Atari or console in the shape of Sega or Nintendo. What? Cursed Teeth Pac Man. Maybe, but I don't think I want to see it. <laughs> Naked Men. On returning home this morning with my newly purchased shrink wrapped Amiga Format Special, I was appalled to find it contained a glossy magazine called Women on Top. If I wish to see such a magazine, I should buy one. I certainly do not want to have one forced upon me. I'm glad that, as I live alone, no one saw me open it. I am embarrassed to have it in the house, but I have no choice because, in my area, the bins are not empty till Thursday. <laughs> I bought Amiga Format, and it's special for more than two years, and I find them interesting. But if this happens again, I shall stop buying them. I would expect a higher standard from future publishing. First... Firstly, let me apologise you put through such a terribly, terribly distressing experience. And secondly, let me completely absolve super future publishing of responsibility. We do not supply any of our specials in shrink wrap. We have no association with the publishers of Women on Top. <laughs> it's the first time I have seen the euphemism glossy used for a magazine full of naked people. But rest assured, if Future were to create a glossy magazine, it would be of far higher quality than WOT, and we wouldn't give it away with AFS. Either. <laughs> ah, there we go. Becky's sister. My mum spotted. Yeah, this is not a kid writing this, is it? It just. It's really just not a kid writing this at all. Do we really believe that Becky is seven? And three quarters years old. That's mighty good handwriting. If you are, Becky. Most importantly, advise your sister steer well a clear of Nick. Yeah, this is this is this is not written by a kid. This is written by someone who's pretending to be a kid. We got fractal. 
<clears throat> You're quite wrong when you say the Mandelbrot set is described by a set of complicated equations. Complex, probably, but not complicated. In fact, the whole point of the Mandelbrot set is that it's, com its complexity is generated by extremely simple equations, such as y equals x squared minus x. It's not quite right, though, is it? <laughs> not even using any z's in there. It's, uh... Uh, that's such simple equations can give rise to complex behavior is one of the tenets of chaos theory. Nor does the Mandelbrot set describe the universe in terms of fractals. Mathematics is not a script of the universe yet. It's definitely not a Mandelbrot um, equation here. Because that's what is wow. z squared plus some constant, and you keep iterating on that. So they've kind of nearly got it right, and this might be more similar to like some other fractals, but... I don't know enough about fractals to know, but I know that's wrong. <laughs> um, somebody's probably going to tell me that, ah, actually they're right, but anyway. <laughs> when the Mandelbrot equation appears simple on paper, when x equals something as complicated as the square root of minus one, readers don't even try thinking about this at home unless you have an, at least an A-level pure mass. The resultant equation can be hardly tried as simple. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't get it to work at all properly. Apparently it's supposed to be the Amiga format logo, this this up here, but it really didn't look like that at all. So yeah, we've got David Pleasance again. They're still talking to him. Got two issues and we'll see if they're still talking to him. Uh, uh, here we go, no manual supply with the hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> what they were saying earlier in the magazine, talk to Commodore about it. I'm really sorry you have this problem. It's not Commodore that's at fault. But yeah, they don't actually get to the point there, there, do they? There's no warranty to post off to Commodore. Yeah. Not entertaining stuff there. How to contact Amiga Format. Got anything interesting? Anything interesting? Radio Amiga. <laughs> you have a humming sound from their radio whenever the Amiga is switched on. Try moving the radio away from your Amiga. Wow. So I'm just looking at this to see if there's anything interesting. It's like they were showing in this TV program a game that was about how to build and run a theme park with rides and attractions to compete with other theme parks. What's it called? It's called Theme Park. <laughs> ah, gosh. But yeah, this, this brings up a, a TV show which I used to watch a lot called Movies, Games and Videos. I think it was like a Saturday morning uh, thing, but it used to be called just Movies, Movies, Movies. I remember that. But then they obviously rebranded to the Movies, Games and Videos because they decided to to review and look at games and videos as well. It's just movies. And, yeah, it was a very, what would you call it? You know how you get like top 10 lists, kind of the way that they're kind of presented in video? It's like top 10, number 10, blah, 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 all that kind of thing. It was kind of that, but just like no top 10 stuff things, as I remember going on. It was just like that, but presented in a way for um, um, just just games and, and movies and things. Amiga Shopping. Next month, we have a special 16-page Amiga Shopper supplement. Wow, word up. Word War 3 is being released. We go to Germany and investigate Blue Byte. Next one's code is supposed to not one, but two powerful database packages. Gosh, I can't wait. Can you? <laughs> All help with uh, the stuff they, they got on here. But look, this is interesting or important. This is the April issue, but the next issue, which is going to be the May issue, is actually available on April the 24th. Now, this is why issue 60 is the one that includes the information about Commodore. If we look, Commodore, Amiga. Let's look there like that. We look at the Amiga here. 
and then we go to Commodore. Um, the bankruptcy. Where is it? Demise. Uh, here. By 1994, only that British in Germany and the United Kingdom were still profitable. Commodore declared bankruptcy on April the 29th, 1994. So you can see, if we go back here, April the 29th of 1994. <laughs> it's just a few days after, if you can believe this. It's just a few days after April the 24th. So, yeah, there they... you... Gosh... Commodore goes bankrupt in April, they can't report it in their April issue, they can't report it in the May issue, because it's released on April the 24th, and then they uh, have to do it in their, was it May, June issue. Ah, dear me. But yes. I thought that was entertaining in some way, but, but yes, yeah, this is just the back panel thing. Look at this. This embarrassing image is about to be plastered over the front of every mega game. What the hell do those people think they're doing? So there we go. <laughs> ah. So yeah, um I don't think I I don't know if I have time or energy, yeah, <laughs> time or energy to look at the um, the rest of that, rest of that game. That was an interesting game, uh, the Dozer one. If you remember that, it was an interesting game. I don't know if I have the time or energy to do it in the now. My brain certainly feels like it's going. Maybe, maybe don't. Um, but yeah, so I shall be wrapping up some things here. As I said, um. Friday, I may may or may not be interrupted by a phone call. Uh, gosh, I don't, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if it turns out I am, then I am. If they call beforehand, they do. If they don't call at all, well, gosh. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me see if I've got any anything. I'm, I'm doubting I would have had an email. I don't think I, yeah, haven't had any emails or anything like that. So, um, what is it? Oh, it's Friday today, isn't it? Um, I don't know if there's certain people who need to be consulted to be working over the week weekend. If they're not... Oh, it's only Wednesday, isn't it? Oh, gosh. Katie, brain. Katie, brain, please. Katie, brain. <laughs> it's Wednesday, so I might get a reply tomorrow. Hopefully I do. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, there's... there's, there's it's all a whole mess. I've sent off emails. I've made, had phone calls. I've I've been trying to sort out, as I was saying at the start of the stream, my meds and stuff like that. It's 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 a whole thing. I'm not going to go into little all the details on stream, but it's 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 a whole thing, <laughs> and it's still not over yet. <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow I should get an email I'm waiting for. Um, as long as things go okay there <laughs> then I can email somebody else and then they can tell yeah and they can tell somebody to do something and then I can get my meds or a different variety of them as long as they are available at the place at the pharmacy and it's a, it's a whole thing but fortunately I can't do anything about it tonight so I can just like not worry about it and I basically well I I could do something, but I I won't go into the details. I could do something, but I'm thinking maybe not at the moment because it's, it might be useful to not do something. But anyway, I won't get into details, as I say. But, um, yeah, that could be a whole entire rant, and I, I, I've i kind of had enough of it. Let's talk to Tracy. If you have any if, uh, questions for Tracy, please use your channel points now. Oh, gosh, I'm being very presentary there, aren't I? Please use your channel points. Hang on, how could I be? So, uh, if you don't want me looking directly into the camera, if you don't like the, that, um, uh, then I'll, I'll just do that for the next, like, five, ten seconds or whatever. <laughs> so, be prepared. I'm going to do it now, okay? So, it's like, please put your... Request for Tracy your aunt questions and stuff into the chat with your channel points. 
<laughs> Anybody who could stand to watch that, how was that? As I say, you have to go with like 110, 120% of yourself to, to appear like you have like this, you know, a normal amount of energy for, for a video or such like that. Be okay. Hey, Tracy. Hello, how's it going? Uh, it's just going okay. I'm just, just generally losing energy over the day and stuff like that. Ah, that's, that's, that's okay. That's kind of like... Uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's okay. Everything is okay. You have a question from Starly. Ooh, a question. I like questions. <laughs> okay, you have a question from Starly that says, beans or spaghetti hoops? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Um, gosh, because, you know, sometimes you could, like, just go, on beans because they're very nice, but also you can go go, on spaghetti hoops because they're very nice. <laughs> you can munch on both of them. Yeah, but they kind of taste a little bit different, don't they? <laughs> In some ways, and they have different texture. Yeah, texture as well. Like, you can put your tongue into the hoop and go, and it kind of, like, breaks it and stuff like that, and it's kind of fun. Yeah, um, anything else? Well, maybe sometime, one time, I tried putting a spaghetti hoop on my one of my horns, like the front horn there. Ah, uh, let me tell you, it was messy. Viewer, it was messy. <laughs> you had a bit of uh, spaghetti on your face, did you? Spaghetti everywhere and sauce. <laughs> and sauce. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, you know, it was a learning experience. <laughs> I'm sure it was a learning experience, Tracy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe that shouldn't be quite so funny. Yeah, maybe, but I think you might be a little delirious at the moment. I might be a little delirious at the moment. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyhow, you know how it is with spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti kind of spaghetti. Especially that long stuff. I mean, the hoops, they behave themselves mostly as long as you get them in your mouth. But the, 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 the long stuff, that kind of goes everywhere. And then it kind of goes slap in the face. And you get spaghetti on your face. And that's not good. Yeah, and you'd find also that if you get the long bits, you get like the spaghetti on your face. But you also get the sauce just kind of splatting everywhere as well. Oh, yeah, that's not, not so great. It's not so great. Um, I, I usually just kind of like, if I'm cooking spaghetti, I just like break it in half and then put it in the thing. So you still got some longish bits, but they don't get like super long. So they get all tangled up and, and then just go sh 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 whatever and all that kind of thing. That sounds like a sensible idea. I, you know, I, I try to be sensible at times. It doesn't always necessarily work, but you know, as long as you try. Yeah, as long as I try, I, I think maybe you put, other people would say, say elsewise, but, uh, but yeah. Um, so what What did you think of the magazine? Yeah, it was a, a good magazine. I liked the bit about how to pick up girls. <laughs> it was a good one. Should we go back to that for the moment? Yeah, if you, if you remember which page it was on. I don't remember which page it was on at all. But we can go back to the how to pick up girls thing. Let me try and, and find that. Does anybody remember what page the, the how to pick up girls thing was on? Oh, is that it? That's it. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to use my... Uh, trackpad here at the moment how to make it with girls that was it how to make it with girls do you want to make it with girls um make what spaghetti yeah i want to make spaghetti <laughs> let's make spaghetti i mean you're a girl aren't you <laughs> yeah do you want to make spaghetti spaghetti does sound like i don't think i have any sauce though to go with the spaghetti to be quite honest oh that's a shame i could have done with some spaghetti <laughs> Maybe we'll have some spaghetti some other day, hey, Tracy? Yeah, and then we can make it. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> oh, I think you might need to rest. I think I might need to rest. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, Wes. <laughs> I still have two that I haven't done. I do need to get to them. Um, I've put some no, things. Katie, get to the, 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 the cooking with Katie thing or whatever you called it. I can't remember what it was. 
Uh, Katie Cook's a thing. That was a thing. I, I do have other videos here. They should be in the, the, the stream. It's like video here. Katie Cook's thing. I have like a uh, a thing here. Look, there's, there's, there's things. I don't know if these are going to play uh, well. Let me see. If I say open with VLC, we can get like a... Uh, a, a teaser, a teaser. Yeah, that we got some 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 music to start off things on this one. So this is I I, I haven't edited it all together yet, and I just need to to do that, and I just haven't done it. Whatever. But let me see if we can pop over to here. There we go. You can just like watch the first part of it here. Roll VT. Welcome to Katie Cooks a thing. Da -da 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 welcome, welcome to Katie Cooks a thing. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Hello, everybody. There we go. That is. <laughs> That is a, a, that's one of the, the things you can see in the background what I might be making there. Um, but let's see also, we have number number four here as well. Uh, let us have a look at uh, that one. <laughs> Katie cooks a thing. So uh, today on Katie cooks a thing, we're going to be using this fancy machine and maybe actually cooking because this this is kind of like a toast things and whatever i sound like i was a bit tired when i was doing that don't you don't you think uh but anyway i i i, I need to edit them i've got like what's it six six clips i need to edit all together into a into a video there ah uh, but uh and then and then the 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 the, the third one i've got three that I need to put together. I have like even like the the the, the project file for that one. I don't know if I've got everything edited together quite right. I have the project files and everything for it. <laughs> it's just like I just haven't done it. I need to do it. Ah gosh, roll VT indeed. <sighs> but now we know how to make it well we didn't know how to make it we go we need to like um send it off to this thing. But yeah I I've <laughs> well, you, but... Ah, <laughs> let me get this up here. Lowest prices, top quality ribbons, inkjets, toners, and discs, and how to make it with girls. <laughs> ah, dear me, <laughs> it's killed me. <laughs> I think I have to go. <laughs> Uh, let me see if there's anybody on that I wish to do a raid off. I, I might just, 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 yeah, just not have <laughs> the energy to stick around after a raid or whatever. <laughs> I definitely need a rest. So thank you everybody for popping by. Before I do pop off, I, gosh, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Before I pop off. <laughs> I don't know if people are doing doing these doing their streams at the moment. Or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Let us play some music. Hopefully, I'll see you on. On Friday, we might be looking at Legend of Zelda. Unless I change my mind in the meantime, which I may do. But anyway, thank you for dropping by today. I hope you had fun. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>